just can't stay away. The guy just can't stay away from that there wasteland. Dude, I found I uh, I played like 20 minutes of a new game. Uh, in that time, I tripled my money as a result of just delivering a big pile of wood to the uh, to the fucking shipyard. Apparently, it's really easy to do that. <laughs> so, so I just kind of just did a wood load. Now I have $182,000, which would have been enough gas uh, and then some change to um, get us to the fucking antiques. I'm not saying we're going to go back to that antique place, but I'm saying... God, it's kind of appealing, the idea, but I'm not going to. But I will say this, money, well, that's what we're after. We're after money. And I'm not after going near any more fucking oceans. The most lucrative dis delivery system in the world is going over that mountain of the steel yards. We just gotta get over it one time. Then we cash out, one drop, then we're clear. Good, never gonna need another dollar again. Dude, my friends are fucking pathetic. I'll tell you what, the amount of my friends today that tried to coerce me into playing Destiny, sad. Sad that they even thought they could try. I'll tell you though, I'll tell you what though, Sam's was the saddest. Cause I like I I, I went to him and I was like, dude, are you playing you playing Destiny, dude? Because I, I, I was worried about him. And this fucking guy fucking goes crazy sicko mode. Look at this shit. He's sick. He's sick. They're all sick. They're sick. They're sick. They need help. He's deranged. He's lost it. They've all lost it. Dude. I asked him when I asked him at like the moment that Gmart managed to fucking coerce him into playing Destiny and I called it. I asked him, did he fucking do it to you while you were playing League? And he was like, dude, it's worse than that. He did it to me after we got owned in League in DMs while we were in the same voice call. I'm like, this fucking guy had Sam dead to rights out there, didn't stand a goddamn chance. I was like, what's the weakest moment of someone's life? Probably when they're playing League and Lost. Fucked up. <clears throat> Dude, I don't have any coffee to grip and rip today. Of any kind. I just had to drink an espresso shot instead. Truly, my life is ending. You promised today would be Destiny Day. I quit my job for this. Dude, one... That's a rough reason to quit your job. Seems like you just want an excuse to quit, and that's not my fucking problem. Maybe you should own up to your own fucking desires and say that you quit your job, and I have nothing to do with it. It's pretty sad that you're using me as an excuse for why you did that. It's fucked up. You need to hold yourself accountable for the changes in your life instead of looking for things around you to grab onto. And yes, I know that I on record said yesterday that people should be skipping out on work to catch my Destiny 2 stream today on twitch.tv slash tomato. But all of you should have interpreted that as a joke, and that's not my fucking problem. That's not my fucking problem that I requested everyone personally quit their jobs and call their bosses idiot morons. It's not my problem. I 
I hope they forgive me. What, your boss? Probably not. Kurt Rima, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thanks. Thanks. We play in Destiny? The only Destiny we have today is... Our, our destiny of making a lot of money off of a lot of meth. Dude, our meth returns are gonna be crazy. I just have to get off of the product, you know what I mean? No more getting on the product. No more getting on the product. I can't take that shit anymore. It's bad for me. It's really bad for me. Couldn't do it again. No way. Is this stalling? Is he installing it right now? The only thing I've installed today is Metal Gear Solid 5 because I kind of want to do a permadeath run of Metal Gear Solid 5 with some mods. All right, that's the only thing I've installed today. Is a hardcore, the starting tests of a hardcore Metal Gear Solid 5 run with mods. See, what's fun about that game is that unlike every other Metal Gear Solid game that you'd want to do that for, this one has so little plot in it that you can skip the cutscenes and still understand exactly what's happening because they didn't bother trying to teach you a story because half the game doesn't exist. So it's really cool for that. I'm just going to skip every cutscene if I do it. Every single one of them is going to be skipped because who fucking cares? Because who fucking cares? I care. No one asked. I mean, I did say who fucking cares, but that was a rhetorical question. You weren't supposed to answer it. You know what a rhetorical question is. You weren't supposed to answer that. I feel like the ultimate down bad game is Dota 2 or CSGO. I'm pretty sure that's not what down bad means. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every couple every couple weeks someone comes in and uses down bad in the wrong the wrong context because bless your soul you don't get it and trust me I didn't get it either but a down bad game is like I don't know there's a lot of them on steam all right is what I'll say there's some there's some straight up down horrific games on steam but that's 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 like genshin or like nike N N N nike that's the one sam fucking kept tabbing into while he was desperately trying to fucking make an excuse to play destiny live on stream kept tabbing into it that guy is that is down bad he is down bad <laughs> so, so <laughs> dude this is this poor fucking guy he's a mess This poor fucking guy. He just sends me this. And I don't even know how to. I don't know how to help him. You know, I'm worried. I'm not worried about Dave or Gmart. They've. But I am worried about Sam. I'm always worried about this guy. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. This dude is in a cursed trinity. He can't get out. He's literally unsavable. Poor guy. He's literally crying for help, Tomato, and you leave him there to rot. What would you have me do? Go in with him? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I told him exactly what I tell any of my friends going in there. And it was specifically, I'll be here in two days when the regret sets in to support you. That's what I tell them. Because that's all I can be. Is there for them in two days when the fucking regret of knowing that they have to continue to play Destiny daily, 24 hours straight, every day, forever, for the next three days to like five days so uh, so that they're ready when the fucking raid launches. All right, I already know how this goes. I've been there. I've been there.
God damn. And the worst part is I like Destiny too. <laughs> and the worst part is, Chad, if I wasn't a streamer, and if I didn't have obligations to stream and work, you bet your ass I'd be in there right now. You bet your ass I'd be in there. But fortunately, I have a job. <laughs> fortunately, I have a job and... Uh, none of them really, uh, none of them really align with streaming Destiny for me. So unfortunately, I can't, I can't do that. I just can't. Keeps me in line. I already play Final Fantasy 14. I don't need another chores game. I think I'm officially past MMOs. <laughs> I think I'm officially past MMOs. Uh, I only like my obnoxious chores games in formats where they're single player and I can do them myself at whatever ever increasing pace I can manage. Like Path. I don't need anyone else with me to play that one. It's not an MMO. It is chores, but it's my chores. You're playing a chore game today. Get that guy out of this room. How did he even get in? Where is the sec where's security? Get that guy out of here. Throw them out. Must have come in through the window. Yeah, because the door weighs too much for them to get in. No way. No way. They had to crawl through the window. My favorite MMO is Wizard 101. Yeah, nah, no dice on that. No, no dice, man. I like ESO. It's Skyrim, but worse. I used to think I liked ESO, and then I played the permadeath challenge for it uh, with uh, the boys. And then, um, then something clicked. Something clicked for me after that. I can get the appeal for some people. Uh, that, that clicked in a bad way for me. That was your fault? No. The only good MMO is Lord of the Rings Online. The only MMO we haven't done for a permadeath challenge, and we never will. That's the only good one. Tomato wasn't tuned enough for Toontown. I, was that like, was that you're not tuned enough thing? Like an actual fucking marketing thing? Because I vaguely remember that. And it sounds racist. Like there's something about that that sounds a little bit like uh, fucked up. To say you're not tuned enough to get in. Sorry, guy. Like, I don't know. There's just something off about it. I don't like that. I don't like that anymore. What do you mean I'm not tune enough? I don't know. It rides the line towards, uh, towards gink, which I can't, I still can't prove is a horrible thing to say, but I worry every single time I say it that I'm going to get in big trouble one day. Uh, every time. Uh... I have to physically mark down every VOD that I say this line because I worry one day I'm going to see an article talking about some really problematic stuff and Dave will have tricked me into saying it at eight different points in my career and I'll have to have someone manually go through every VOD to fucking... S I'm going to just put a disclaimer here. I am stupid and I don't know what I'm saying and if this word turns out in the future to be a really bad one... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, it was a different time. That's the one most people use, right? When they say something unbelievable, is they say it was a different time, but it was only a year ago when they said it. <laughs> that's the that's the usual run one, uh, right? It's usually uh, it was a different time, and then the different time was like 2020, <laughs> when uh, when I absolutely d I don't think uh, I don't think I've <laughs> grown since then. Exactly one week ago. Wild. I think we can all agree. COVID changed us all. I'm a different person than I was before that. Actually, that one might not even be totally a goof. <laughs> I think a lot of people... I think my personality did shift a little bit after the horrible tragedies. That one might not... Might be the only one that's kind of... He got meaner. I think I did get meaner. I probably got meaner. I mean, Gink is a Muppet from Dr. Seuss. Oh, that's not good. That guy turned out to be have a lot of racist stuff going on. That's not good. Maybe I gotta tell Davey's gotta stop using that one. That one's starting to seem like it might not be landing in the right uh, space. Uh, can Pretty much if Dr. Seuss said anything at this point, I think it's kind of a danger zone. Uh, uh oh. Guys, let's uh let's pivot to using a uh, public totally publicly safe uh s sourced insults like Taffer. We know that one's good. To my not like it's bad, but it's good. You know what I mean? We can use that. We can use that. We can use that one. I'm not, I don't want, Chad, I don't want to use the Morrowind ones because everyone that says that is wildly xenophobic and therefore it doesn't land very good <laughs> as well. <laughs> you guys got to remember that those ones are really bad because the people that say them are constantly using it as a xenophobic uh, derogatory word. So it's really like probably the worst one you can use. That one's not good. None of those ones are good. Morrowind was a different time. <laughs> and that one's not even really like, that's not even 2020 a different time. That one's like prehistoric walking around with the dinosaurs different time. Morrowind was like 2005. Are you fucking sure, my guy? Pretty sure it was 2003 or two. Possibly even older. Because the Game of the Year edition was 2002, so I think it might be 2001. <laughs> 20 years ago, man. You see, that's when I can say that something I said was truly a different time, because I was only five. <laughs> that, see, that's like, that's the one time, if you're five years old, if, if, if you use the excuse it was a different time and you really were five years old when you said that shit, I think that's good. I think you're good at that point, because like, that seems valid. I didn't know what I was saying. I, I, I literally like heard someone else say something horrible and I said, because I was five. Oh, all right. Oh, you were five. I guess that, I guess you do sound weird on this recording. My frontal lobe had yet to develop. When does your frontal lobe stop developing? Because I think that's when it was a different time stops being valid. As like an excuse. Like 25? Oh, then cancel that then. No, that's the No, that's too much, dude. That's too much, dude. <laughs> 
25 from you're telling me that i've only just a year ago lost my it was a different time card for getting out of all controversy forever a year ago it was a different time i can't believe it took me this long to be an actual human <laughs> I can't believe that up until now, I was just kind of a thing, but now I'm real. Wild. Wild. New game plus mode? It really is all downhill now. I miss proto-human tomato. That's what I'm gonna call all of you 25 and youngers. Proto-humans, that's what you fucking are. Absolutely nasty. <laughs> Absolutely gross bastards. Not Barely figured out how the fuck anything works at this point. Human grubs, basically, yeah. I give you money? That's probably because your frontal lobe hasn't developed enough to realize that you shouldn't. And that's why I like you. And that's why I like you. You'll get there soon. The neurons will, like, the synapses will connect, the electrical connection will be made, and then you'll be like, oh, fuck. That was, that was a big fuck up. What was I thinking? can't argue with Joel. Dude, I think the most proto-human thing you could fucking do is Joel and then looking at the same time. I think that- I think Joel is a fucking symptom of your proto-human brain. <laughs> your proto-human brain needing to watch something rotate around to occupy your time. Yeah, I gotta watch the cat eating corn, dude! Makes my brain feel nice. It makes my head warm. To watch, when I look at the fish spin around, my head gets hot. And I, I feel smoke coming out of my ears. <laughs> Makes my scalp tingle. Is evil Joel enabled? I'll be dead and buried before I enable another Joel emote. You have the one, that's all you're fucking getting. Holy shit, the fucking audacity. The audacity of this chatlet to ask that. <laughs> the audacity. In order for another Joel to be enabled, Joel must be destroyed. Okay, that's the only way I fucking do it. Li truly the only way. I'm not doing this like five different Joels. Remove P emote. What did you just fucking say? <laughs> what did you just say? When we're playing a game with P in it? This guy doesn't even know where he is.
Go a step further and add shitty now. I'm not fucking doing that one. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna look it up. I'm not gonna look that shit up. I'm not looking for it. <coughs> what a Dude, that that is an unhealthy. That's not that guy you go doctor. What the fuck? I'm not adding that. Absolutely not. No. Get off your high horse and add it, please. Dude. You sound just like Sam yelling at me to play fucking Destiny, dude. Get off your high horse and pick up your fucking gun. And it's just as sad to hear it from you, chat. It's just as sad here. The regret phase. It's going to come. The phase is coming. <clears throat> Tomato, look at how much the mods don't want it. That should be a reason enough to add it. You guys misinterpret a lot of things. Uh, just because my mods don't want something doesn't mean that I'll like do the opposite. Like I, The mods and I are on the same side most of the time. I'm not adding the shit emote. That's never happening. <laughs> Ever. Be grateful you can pee. All right. Dude. Why can't EDF6 come out right now and save my friends from destiny? <laughs> why can't EDF6 be released in the West right now and save us all? Like, it's in Japan. When are they going to put it out in the West so that I can have my fucking beautiful ant killing game? When's the U.S. release? Come on. Come on, you'll get at least one purchase from me. You'll get at least one buy from me. Dude, I know for a fact EDF sells very well on Steam. So what the fuck? I sure hope they didn't judge their success, like EDF success, exclusively based off of that fucking co- like that, like, pixel game because that really pisses me off if they if like they if they're like we don't want to put out another one because we think that people don't like UDF anymore because of the stupid pixel one that'd make me so sad it's been four years it's been four years since EDF 5 on the PC Longer if you consider how long it's been out on the PS4. Four long years. Bro, remember Iron Rain? No one wants to remember that. No one. I'm answering for everyone, and I know they'll agree with me. You don't want that. Where's Dragon Dogma 2? Dude, that's some of the highest concentration cope. How much? You gotta be rich to have cope like that, dude. 
You got a... I don't know what kind of health plan you have, but that's crazy that you have that kind of high concentration copium, man. That's wild. That's insane. Yeah, I mean, it is announced. Oh, yeah, 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 because a game being announced means fucking anything. Dude, Elder Scrolls 6 is announced. <laughs> Elder Scrolls 6 is announced. You think you're going to see it in the next five years? Who So is Beyond Good and Evil. Like, uh, announcements don't mean fucking anything in this market, dude. They really don't mean anything. Skull and Bones. That game is... I, I think when that game launches, Ubisoft actually closes. <laughs> like, from the trajectory of Ubisoft the last couple of fucking years, I feel like when that game launches, it is the beginning of, like, the incredibly fast, alarming decline of Ubisoft. I mean, they've already been declining forever, but, like, you know what I mean? Someone just said they actually got to play it. Des, did you get... How was it? Was it epic? Was it epic? It was okay. It really needs to be the best game of all time, though, doesn't it? That's kind of the problem with Skull and Bones, is that with, uh... How many development delays they've had, and, like, reschedules, and... Etc. 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 It really has to be the best game since like Half Life. It has to basically kill Half Life. <laughs> this needs to be the best game ever made. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think it's gonna get there. It will sell either way. No, it fucking ain't, dude. No one's buying Skull and Bones. No one's buying Skull. What do you mean it's gonna sell either way? No, it's not. Chad, we need to. We, we, I don't. I. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think Skull and Bones is going to sell. I mean, hell, Ubisoft's remake or like copy of uh, Breath of the Wild, that that weird Olympus one that was apparently good, Phoenix Rising or whatever, sold like shit. Was garbage. Sold bad. Not good. They never made another because it sold terribly. Skull and Bones is gonna fucking absolutely bomb. <laughs> it's going to bomb so hard. If it doesn't, I'll eat my pants. If that game sells a million copies, I'll eat my pants. Live. I really will. You said that in the past? Oh fuck, I'm not 25 anymore. I can't say it was a different time when I walk this back when the game becomes the game of the year for 2023. Shit. Oh, no. Oh. If I try to walk it back now, people are gonna fucking deplatform me. I'm done. I think it's time to get in there, chat. <clears throat> I think it's I think it's time to get in there, chat. We're gonna be spending a lot of time trucking today. Torchlight also dead AF. Dude, Torchlight deserves to be dead AF after what they did in the third game. So, like sometimes games deserve to fail. Like they deserve to be owned. And that game deserved to get owned. Uh This game looks fun. How heavy is the drug reference? Uh, boy, oh boy. Um, well, I downed three doses of meth last time I played. 
um, and chugged two gallons of moonshine. So pretty heavy. This sick and twisted industry needs a reset. <laughs> we need to cancel all games for two years so we can get through all the old ones. Come on, everyone, think about it. We have enough already. What if we cancel all games for two years? When I become the president of gaming, things are gonna change. It's time to clear the backlog. Just remakes for two years? No. Nothing for two years. No new releases of any kind. How many games, how many poor games in your library you never even turn on? I know you got Brink in there. I know if you scroll to the bottom of your Steam library, you're gonna see 2011, Brink. And I know you didn't play it. I know you got Brink in there, you didn't play that shit. Now's the time. Everyone turn on Brink. <laughs> come on, everyone. Get Brink on. Everyone, come on, rally. <laughs> Gamers, rise. We all need to turn on Brink. It's only 5.34 gigabytes. Come on, everyone. I'll launch the dedicated server too. Don't worry, let's get on Brink. Everyone, quick. It's Brinkin' time. <laughs> I don't own it. Dude, it's literally free to play you have no excuse. That game is freaking free. You guys remember when Bethesda sucked and made a lot of bad games just like they do now? Guys, game dev, like publishers haven't gotten worse over time. They've just always been the same level of like hit and miss all time forever. I swear to God. I didn't even remember Bethesda, like, published Brink. <laughs> Wild. Kardo-san, thank you for the five gifted subs. They peaked at Oblivion. Joe invited me to his, like, speedrunning show that he does for Oblivion, where I'd be, like, speedrunning Oblivion on Wednesday. I had to decline because it would have been actually cheating if I joined Jet. If I see one person in his show pick a Khajiit out there, I'm gonna call out that they absolutely played Oblivion. If they fuck it, if they pick a Khajiit and they fucking try to like dash through the game at full speed, yeah, no fucking way. They're supposed to be, the people that join for it are supposed to not know anything about the game and be very fucking entry level understanding. If I see someone pick Khajiit and then start downing Skooma like a psycho, yeah, right, dude. Yeah, right. I like had to insta decline even though I wanted to do it because I was like, I have to be honest i've played hundreds of hours of oblivion and i could beat that game fucking fast if i just did story i could thrash that fucking game oh yeah stream it gamer i don't want to because um that game hurts me I don't want to do that. Last time I played Oblivion, uh, I spent two weeks modding it. And then uh, after the first session of the stream with the mods, uh, Steam Cloud overwrote my uh, save. So I don't like looking at Oblivion anymore. I have it hidden on my library.
I, uh, I don't do that, no. Then don't mod it, LMAO. Damn, that was a stupid chat message. <laughs> Damn, that was a dumb one. Dude! <laughs> Dude! Just don't mod it next time, bozo! Fuck you! Yeah, that was a bummer, though. But I'm, uh... I, I, I swear to God, I'm never going back. <laughs> I'm never going back there. Ever. Ever. What's the Brink IP? You don't need the IP. I'm on the public server and I'm the only one. All right, get in there. Get in there, dude. I'm the only server. You don't need it. Guys, I'm dropping frames. Is someone DDoSing me? Guys, if I swear I will shut down the I will shut down the entire Brink community. If I drop one more frame on my fucking stream, I swear to God. If I click the kill switch on this server, the entire Brink community shuts back down back into stasis where it fucking belongs. Somewhere in Bethesda HQ, a dusty cobweb covered server has bursted into flames and is burning down the entire building from the inside out. No one has used Brink in a thousand years. The servers are not kitted for this anymore. They haven't been upkept. The door where the server is was sealed over with cement a decade ago. No one can stop the inferno as it rises. Starfield gets delayed again because their servers are directly next to Brinks. All of their data destroyed. All 12,000 planets gone in an instant. A damn shame. Dude, I swear though, like, it's gotta be pretty stressful to be the devs of Starfield and know that if somehow this game is bad in any way, uh, Bethesda is going to look like an absolute fucking circus, more so than they already are. Boy, that game needs to be the best game ever, huh? That's another one of those, that's another one of those situations where the game has to be the best game ever, or Bethesda's about to get owned. At least mods can fix it. Dude, I mean, like... Yeah, I shrug like technically I guess mods can try to fix a lot of games but that's not that doesn't excuse the devs for making a shit game as far as I'm concerned that doesn't help them look better you know what I mean and I would also argue mods can only go so far I played a good amount of Fallout 4 with like the Frost mod and like a bunch of stuff that improved it and I did some of it on stream. And I don't think that saved Fallout 4 for me. I had fun, but I had no desire whatsoever to play it after like another like four hours after I stopped streaming it. Like it did not save that game for me. Mods is pure copium, LMA, LMFAO, Skyrim is the pinnacle of mods that took 10 years. I don't even think Skyrim is the pinnacle of mods anymore. I think Stalker took that 
I, I, Skyrim definitely has the most mods. I think I think Stalker has the best mods in the industry. I think Stalker has the best ones. G mod as well. Minecraft. Yeah, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna give it to Minecraft. I think Minecraft has the best mods. Uh, Minecraft. I think the order for me is Minecraft, Stalker, and then Skyrim. Minecraft is fucking dominant. Like, you, no one can argue that Minecraft has insane, insane mods. Where's Gmod? It's, uh, like, fourth. <laughs> it's, like, fourth, man. It's just, I don't play Gary's mod to play Gary's mod without, like, any, like, playing it multiplayer with friends. Like, I, I, the games that come to mind for me for mods are ones that I play offline by myself and enjoy for extended periods. And always have like a desire to come back to you know like a gmod can have a billion fucking models that i can import into the sandbox but who fucking cares like for me that's nothing that's something for some people for me it's nothing nothing could make me love rimworld nothing <laughs> <laughs> everyone leave that one out of this all right i don't want to babysit these bozos for one more fucking day but I'll probably stream RimWorld, RimWorld in the next, like, two months. Realistically. But I am RimWorld's number one hater. I love hating. I'm their number one hater. No one hates harder than me. I didn't Rim RimWorld added babies, right? Does that, like, what is that exact, like, because my worry with RimWorld was that babies would cause a situation where I not only have to babysit the fully grown adult babies, but also the small children babies, and, like, I don't know, I also didn't really want to enter the stage of, like, having a guy enter a mental break, pick up a baby, and spike them into the ground so hard that they turn into a fucking pile of goo. Like, I didn't want that to happen on stream. I'm gonna guess that doesn't. That happens. Okay. Dwarf Fortress moment. <laughs> well, when it happens in Dwarf Fortress, I, it's got, like, a kind of still distance of, like, it's a tile set. You're not seeing full animations of this stuff happening. And RimWorld, does, I feel like that's a little bit more like... There's it's something a little more visceral about it when there's even slight animations happening to these things. Raiders do avoid children without weapons equipped, but your colonists will do some crazy shit on a mental break. If there isn't a freaking like, you know that, like, the degenerate modders on RimWorld have added a mod that makes two mental broken fucking, like, colonists throw a baby between them like a football. You know there's some crazy shit out there. Like, I, I, I worry. I worry. Based. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the front, look, dude, it's, it'd be fucking funny for a second. That isn't even a mod, that's base expansion. All right. Yeah, dude, I w I started with uh, a couple colonists. Uh, the main one that did all like the building and stuff, like snapped like a twig and picked up a baby, started dribbling them like a basketball. Uh, which was wild. That was like the first thing that happened in the run. I uninstalled the game after that. It was just really uns- it was wild. Do you like that? Yeah, dude, I had this- I had this situation where, uh, like a baby wandered into the artillery room, and one of my colonists that was shooting artillery at the, uh, raiders that were breaking in, they had a mental break while they were loading shells and they actually put a baby into the uh, cannon and shot it right out of the base. And it landed on the raiders and exploded and they all ran away. Which, honestly, I, I quick saved the game after that because that was fucking epic.
That is a mod, I believe. <laughs> Dude, right on, man. Right on. Like, dude, that's pretty badass. I actually like their floor scribbles. Are you telling me that the babies in RimWorld, like, fucking litter on the ground? Because I would actually install a mod to shoot them out of artillery. If they actually make messes. Oh, hell no. Yeah, I hope that mod exists. They draw everywhere? Dude, no way. I know there's, like... A mod I use a lot that adds like hygiene and like sewer systems and like plumbing. I hope I can flush a baby down the toilet with that. Like just fucking really dunk them and get them out of here. Cause like, I don't want that shit. You have to help them study and make a school for them? LOL, Omega lol, you're getting into a trade, motherfucker. What do you mean school? What do you mean school? Where are you going? You're gonna be a plumber. You're getting into a trade. You're gonna learn how to cut stones forever. And you're gonna like it. You haul. <laughs> you carry items across the map. Why aren't you playing Destiny 2 with Dave? Smile. That might be that might be the most pathetic shit I've seen all day. If I hadn't seen more pathetic shit earlier today when other people tried to coerce me into playing Destiny. Sad. 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 Whose alt is that? I don't recognize you in this chat, motherfucker. Whose alt are you? Confess! It's done. Chad, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and then we're gonna get in the game. I've made money. I, we are not poor in this game, and I might even do another load of, like, uh, another load of deliveries. I want to quickly, before I... Oh, that's cool. Okay, I want to quickly, before I start, rebind. You really can't fucking bind? Yeah, that sucks. Damn it. I was gonna bind my uh, shift buttons so that they would be set to my mouse buttons, but I can't do that, so that sucks. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then we're gonna start. I'll be back. That's enough of that. We're getting in the video game. So all I've done in this one is I made sure that I put my house up for rent. I pulled all the stuff out of it. It's not in my car currently. It's back at the delivery depot in the town next to my house. So we have to drive back out anyways to that town to like go anywhere else. So I'll pick up my stuff, 
when I'm there. Truck is still the same color. I really haven't done that much, but, um... You can change the bind for gear to the mouse. You need to click on the box that pops up. Are you sure? Because I literally just did that. The reason isn't that I can't bind it to a mouse key. It's the reason that I can't bind it to my thumb mouse keys, which are different than a normal left, right, or middle mouse button key. Uh, but thank you for attempting to help. Here we are. Uh, I am at the boat yard. Just having delivered my incredible treasure. Nice truck. Thanks, man. Thanks. It is a nice truck, isn't it? It is. And we have gas. Enough gas to get us back through town. I have nothing in the back of the truck right now. Uh, the back of the truck is completely empty. Uh, but that's fine. I don't want anything in anyways. I have to pick up... Uh... I have to pick up all of my stuff from the town nearby. I don't even have a map right now, but I know how to get back to the town. But first, let's pick out our jams. Let's go all the way to the top. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. The only time limit we have right now is that we are getting pretty thirsty and I don't have any water in the car. Let's ride. I did realize I can use the number buttons above my uh, WASD for, um, for shifting. Which works. Get up there! This is the most powerful hill in the entire map. Oh, I should have probably just asked them if I could deliver anything from this place. Ain't nothing more badass than admitting you were wrong and reversing your car. Back from where you just came. Howdy. I can't remember if I have, uh, delivery jobs here. Where- is there a, uh... Any papers on the walls? There is a forklift here. Which there wasn't at the other place. Now, I am not actually forklift certified. So I should not be using that. Get off then. I did. What the fuck? I did. I'm just gonna do a quick check and see if there's a, uh, a hauling bay here. Cause if there's like another delivery that's down the road from here, I'll do it. I think it might actually just be up in the other town. I think this place is just a drop off point. I think. Yeah, I think it is. All right, let's go. Yesterday you said everyone was forklift certified in the apocalypse. This is a new life rule. Damn, man. You really just dropped the ball on RP just like that, like it was nothing, huh? I forgot to bring my barrels, but I did pack them. They're just not in the car, if that makes sense. Let's ride. Hell yeah. A hundred and forty nine thousand. Well, you know, that's not really US dollars. It's not a good, it's not like we have a billion dollars, but we have a good amount. Now, 
Now, there's one thing I want to do before we do anything, and that's actually fill my car up with gas this time. I'm not going to be a fucking idiot about this. I'm going to get a lot of gas in this car. These guys don't know I'm a Slaverian trucker. Pathetic. I'm not turning the car off when I load it up with gas. What of it? Slash me saves game. Slash me saves game urgently before I do this. Yeah, really save the game. Really, really, really. Really do save the game here. I'll live on the edge as long as I have a load ready. Slash me puts diesel in the gas car. <laughs> I'm a bit of a psycho. What can I say? I'm crazy. Fill her up! Fill her up! 100 liters sounds good. And by that I meant 120. Damn it! There we go, that filled it. Pissing away money, holy. Hi, can you go back to the last fucking stream before you say something like that? That foolish, in all caps, no less? Hi, can you rewind to the last stream? Before you say something so foolish again? Because I'm, I'm looking out for you. I don't want you to look like a fool. Uh, so you should probably educate yourself on the uh, contents of this video game before you say something else like that, okay? Okay, Bozo? All right, let's ride. Chat, cut toxicity out of your life, all right? <laughs> Dude, there's something. I really like the idea of like being super toxic to someone and then immediately yelling, cut toxicity out of your life. You gotta get that stuff out of here, chat. Just don't got time for that in 2023. Gerald? Need to buy some goods. Empty gas. One. Good. Coolant? Check. Motor oil? Check. Two coolants. Sell repair kits here? Probably not. Do some water. We do need one of those. We want a pack of water. Don't think I need flour. Pretty sure we're good on everything. Yeah, we're good. Part of me thinks I should get a diesel can and fill it up as well. Dude, this fucking music is bopping hard. This this station might be the best one so far. All right. Yeah, no, I'm not uh, putting ADs in my backpack because my backpack is currently full of garbage, including my second gasoline can, which I'm gonna now fill up both of them. It might look like overkill chat, but I truly don't think it fucking is, considering the car burns gas when it idles, and there's a lot of time that's gonna be spent going really slow up and down things. This car doesn't have a lot of juice for, uh, acceleration. I'm not fucking this up again. Alright. I am gonna get some repair tools. Another box of them. 
from the car repair shop here. They just live like animals out here. This place is a mess. Quick in and out. Uh, medium repair box. Yes. And then... Damn, dude, I could have bought a fucking 23 horsepower gasoline engine. I fucked up. Oh, well. We're actually going to make our money back on these trips quite quickly. All right. Now, what I need to do is loop back around. What am I stuck on? Oh. on this fucking thing. Son of a bitch. Asshole. That guy was gonna run me over and kill me. Let's ride. We're gonna hit the gas station, fill up our other two tanks, and then we got work to do. Yeah, we're badasses. Gerald's again, huh? And that's how you get out of a car. Yes. Yes, it's a lot of money, but it's future-proofing in a major way. I'm gonna keep these in the front with me. Just because if anything ever happens, I want to make sure these don't fly away in the distance. Go! Go! What is this fucking song? What just happened? Go! Hang on. Gasoline can number two. We're gonna make our money back on this real fast, don't worry. You see, I've got these idiots in my house right now paying me fucking rent daily. Think about it. Turn the car off. I just want to check this quick. So this is the delivery guy for this area, the parcel services. I don't think there's a large scale hauling building here unless it's this one i want to check it really quick because the hauling ones are the best ones to actually do jobs for because they pay a thousand times better than the small boxes uh but i'm not what was that 
I'm sorry, fucking what? There's buses? Wild. Wild. Balarsk is the place near here. We don't want that. Anyways, it's good to know. I need to crack open a cold one. And by a cold one, I mean an ice cold bottle of water. Like a badass. All right, I'm better now. I do this because I don't respect them. And his incredibly high inflated prices for gasoline. Let's get out of here. Let's ride. We got a long trip back to Polarsk to pick up my other goods and pick it up another delivery jar. I also need to get myself a map. We don't own one. What the fuck does M do? Are these my directionals? Wild, I haven't been using those. I didn't even know those were a thing. Gotta get the window down. That's not right. Gotta get the window down. Gotta let myself breathe. Hey, right. I gotta raise the gear. I'm gonna overheat again like a bozo. I gotta remember to use my fucking gear shift, man. I have to shift my car up and down or I explode. Hell yeah. All right, chat, we're gonna go to the town nearby. We're gonna buy a map and some other basic supplies, and then we're getting a big haul job, and we're gonna fucking do it and make a billion dollars. A billion trillion fucking dollars is what we're gonna do. Look at these idiots. They have no idea the, the Wasteland Trucker is after them. They don't even know that behind them is the Wasteland Trucker. The Slavarian Trucker. The music is loud? Sorry, chat. That guy wanted the music off. I have to give everyone their musical preference at least once every couple hours. Which means right now, no music. But I was jamming. Well, now you're not. Maybe we can pick a different station that's not as loud. It is. Just in time for us to get stuck on this fucking hill. Just in time for us to be fucking absolutely owned by the tiniest of inclines. Hey, you guys want to see me fuck my car up? <laughs> you guys want to? You guys want to see how crazy I can get my fucking car? I can really screw this thing up. Check this out. Slash me completely mangles gear shift. I think just hanging out on gear three all the time is the best way to do it. Look at this. Nice, safe. In control. 
Just leave the clutch pushed in the whole time. Now that's the spirit. Hang on, I'm gonna leave my blinkers on. Let me, uh... What the fuck was the button for indicators? I just had it for a second. I already immediately forgot what it was. M. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave my fucking indicator to go. <laughs> I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna be saying I'm turning left. Hang on. There we go. Left. Uh, forever. This guy on my ass is gonna be so mad. Yo, what the fuck? I ain't never gonna forget that guy. That's my nemesis. I'll kill him. He doesn't know I'm gonna build up more speed than him on the second part of this lap. Enhance the speed. Gear shift up. Slash me changes indicator to turning right for pit maneuver. Thanks, Joester111 for the five gifted subs. Chad, I'm going in for the long distance pit. I'm going to fucking kill this guy. At 80 kilometers an hour. What's good, asshole? Yeah, that's right. That's right. We should be coming up on the, uh, on the town in a second. What the fuck is this garbage? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Listen to that. Okay, first things first. I need to stop at the map store. I get my map. Just right over here. Alright, let's buy my map. Very important that I have this. We can't fuck this up twice. Hey man. I'd like a map of Slaveria, please. Thank you. I'll be taking that. I know it looked like I lost it. I fucking didn't. Okay. I got it. Everything's fine. We got it. Is there new stuff for sale that wasn't here before? Most of us the same. Just take a photo of the map for free life hack. PP. I'm not fucking doing that. That's illegal. That's illegal, man. You can't just fucking do that. Hey, call the police on that guy. Chat, why doesn't someone apprehend that? Where are the police? They're a danger to themselves and others. Look at them, they're hysterical. This music fucking blows. Switch it. Now there are many stations. Hell yeah. Now this is real music. All right, Chet, so this is where I stashed all my garbage. You'll see it when we come up on it. Oh yeah, dude. 
There it is. My treasure. I got my... Well, most of my treasure. Whatever that was just fell through the floor and is gone forever. Oh, yeah. We got the rest of it. Car part adjuster. Check. Repair box. Check. Coolant. Check. And. Check. Yeah. Toolbox. Glitching through ground. Check. Barrels of garbage. I don't have an immediate use for that yet, but I swear there's a reason. Pretty sure I can actually- I'm actually gonna test this right now. I should also save. I wanna see if I can sell this barrel to that guy on the other side of town. Cause there's a guy that says he'll like take empty barrels. I don't know if this counts as an empty barrel or not, or if this is just garbage. So I need to find out before I haul it any farther. So orderly, it's not gonna matter once I immediately take a delivery job and have to destroy all this fucking layout I've made. None of it's gonna matter. <laughs> I smack that guy with the barrel. Hey, do you buy this? He says he buys empty barrels. What if I put it here? Buy that? $6,000 a barrel ain't bad. What else do you buy? All right. Yeah, I'll bring the other one over. 6,000 for a barrel ain't bad. That's like half a tank of gas. And by half a tank, I mean half of a diesel or like a canister, half of a jerry can. Easy money. I should just drive the car closer, but uh, easy $3 in real money. Dude, I mean, I ain't gonna complain. I need you to eat a whole pumpkin. Binoculars, hang on. Uh, I'm, my guy's still kinda hungry. I'm gonna eat this sausage. There we go. I have like a glove, uh, a glove box. But like, glove box is so bad. It's not even the one that looked like, dude, I can't fit shit in that. It's basically useless. All right, after this, we're gonna take another delivery job. I don't know where we're gonna go. It's basically my meth box, yeah. <laughs> it's, the only thing it could fit is meth. It couldn't even fit my map. It could only fit meth in a can of pork. I think. No, it wouldn't fit the map. I say that because that's what I did last time I played this game, like, a couple of months ago, and, uh, that map fucking got glitched out of the goddamn car. And was destroyed. And that was a map I needed, alright? I needed that map. Alright. We are cooking with a lot of money right now. We got a lot of food. Now, first thing we're gonna do is swing by our house. Hey, what's this guy doing? He buy meth brick for 135,000 SD. Where the fuck do I get a brick of meth to sell to this guy? No, I'm not buying meth. Chad, I'm not buying a meth bag for 14,000 SD. I would like to sell him bricks in meth town. There ain't no such thing as meth town. There's no place on the map called Meth Town. Yes, there is. If someone tells me right now, unironically, where I can buy meth bricks, I will go and buy meth and sell it to this guy in my hometown.
Oasis. A couple people have said Oasis. Oasis ain't far. And if Oasis ain't far, then I can also go to Tarasov Oil Field. Okay. We are technically going to be going that way anyways, possibly, for uh, delivery. Dude, it looks like we're about to sell a lot of meth. Am I going to have to worry that the police might try to arrest me? There are police officers stationed in every town. Is this going to be like a situation? Those guys aren't real. They don't have collision. They're not real NPCs. This is a fucking real energy that this car is bringing to the table right now with this music. But I don't know if I like it for this. No. There's not like a real like hardcore country one, you know what I mean? Four pallets of planks to Eastport and Kolovi. Well, hang on here a second. We could swing back to Eastport one more time and make a lot of fucking money. 68,000 if we swing back. Because I'm not going to fucking calm Sidrinsk. Yet. I think I want to do another run of the uh, planks. Does that, I feel like that's a good idea. Do one more run, run of planks. That'll make back all the money I spent doing like all my shit today. Okay, chat, so here's the situation. Planks are really big in this game, so bear with me. It's gonna take a second to load them. This is, um... These are not an easy, tri like, trip. So, just trust me for a minute. I've done this once before already, and I only spilled one set of planks. They are very heavy. And then we're gonna raid those relics again. There's no way we're not going back there, dude. It's free money. Look at this. This is actually fucking really good. I just need to, I need to move this out of the way. Dude, it's like free money. Like stealing from those people in those fucking ruins again is free money. I can do it so much faster. Look at this. Dude, this car was made for this. All right, so the last one's the one that sucks. <laughs> this one's less fun to do because the car's not made for a, a fourth one. Get in there. Okay, now we don't, uh, we don't do it like that. Basically, how I did this last time is I layered this one really far forward so that I can always see it while I'm driving. And if we hit any bumps, I just um, slow down. But it'll be fine. Doesn't like really fit even if we fit it horizontally or vertically like this way. It really just doesn't work. No rope? Why the hell would- Dude, this is the Slaverian trucker era. We don't have rope. I can't believe you just said that. You ain't a real trucker. I'm sorry to tell you, son, but you're not gonna- you're not cut out for this. What did you just say to me? This is gonna be fine. The only real shame is that I'm not also bringing a pile of four pallets with me while I do it. If this was illegal and not safe, these cops would call on me to high the load down. But they ignored it because it's safe. Okay? And there you go. And there you go. If it was unsafe, someone would tell me. 
Yeah, no, this is absolutely someone's final destination car. Like, this is the car that kills someone that, like, almost died in a plane crash. You're right, but that's... Dude, they never really, like, cover... No final destination really covers how, like, the guy who was the, like, catalyst of a final destination death feels after the fact. You know what I mean? Because some of those are wild. I mean, I wouldn't want to be the guy who had, like, a... Like, a fucking like chain reaction in my workplace accidentally off Michael, the guy who's in the cubicle next to me because I spilled some water on like a, like, I don't know, like a, I guess like an open wire on the ground, a frayed wire, which then spread an electrical circuit. Like, oh, oh, like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I wouldn't want that to be me. That's what 47 does. I, I wouldn't want to be him. He's bald. That can't be me. I'm not him. This car fucking sucks. <laughs> this car sucks eggs. This thing can't stop guzzling gas. But look at how well it holds these fucking planks. Dude, it's like the first day it's in my office that it's been fucking hot. Like, I'm actually gonna need to take off a layer. How do I set my car to drive automatically? There's still one more gigantic hill to climb before we make our way to Eastport. This car sounds like it's gonna blow up, right? Should I let it breathe? I'm gonna let it breathe for a little. We're gonna let this bad boy breathe. Did that guy go around me? What? Was he afraid to be behind my car on the highway? That's fucked up. I don't see why I deserve that. This fucking poor car. Push it, man! I got- I can't take this fucking shirt off. I'm wearing two layers right now. I can't take this top layer off until I've made it over the hill. Okay, we're in a coasting scene. I'm gonna take it off. Ugh. Get off of me! Ugh. Jeez. It is fucking hot in my office. Maybe there's a small fire. I haven't looked around recently to check if there's any small fires localized in my room. As long as it's small. That's the spirit. If it's small, then we have nothing to worry about. I can't wait to deliver cocaine to people in need. We're starting to go downhill, so this is about to get a lot faster all of a sudden, so buckle up, folks. It's about to get a little crazy. If the planks were going to fly off, it'd be during the next part of this journey. I'm going to coast this whole thing. Try to save on gas. I'm Omega coasting. <laughs> this is the most powerful coast I have, which is where I turn the ignition off and just kind of let us roll down the hill. Okay, we're coasting a little too slow. I'm going to turn it back on. I can't reach the... God damn it. I can't believe I had to actually turn the car off. This is safer. Last time I went this way with this load, uh, I turned this hill right here and hit a bump, and the top wood flew like a quarter mile down the road. 
it was not a it was not a fun time. That was someone's final destination. I feel like the wood absolutely landed and killed someone. Like it flew all the way to that curve. Like I hit a bump like right there. It was wild. Would you categorize this as a big load or a huge load? This is just a big load. I'm taking it a lot slower this time. Cause um Yeah, as you can see it's sliding. Hey, stay cool, man. We're almost there. Of all the days I don't need a fucking truck on the road cutting me off, it's right goddamn now. Damn it! We got a load dropped. We got the drop. We dropped the load. It's fine. It's just wood. It's just wood. That said, I'm gonna angle myself so I can't see if uh, I smush someone and final destination to them. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm, I'm not checking the rear view either to see if there's a pancaked idiot beneath these fucking planks. Nor am I checking it for bloodstains. Let's ride. Dude, my brother in fucking Christ, you just spent- this is your last day on Earth. If you have a god to pray to, now's the fucking time I'm taking you out back. Let's go. I need to really, I gotta really get under there. <laughs> I gotta get in there. Come on, let me under. I fine. This is probably enough. I probably scared them enough for today. Are they gonna fucking T-bone my car? I hope he's dead. This car stopped making sounds. I think he killed himself. <laughs> I think he fucking killed himself doing that. I, I think he flew through the windshield. Dude, fuck you, man. Just leave me alone. God, ain't no fucking way he just tried. He just tried to flip me. Dude, get off of my ass. Holy shit, I can't believe that just happened. That's a nemesis. He rear-ended me. I pushed him away from my car so I could actually pull it away without him killing me. And then he T-bones me. He T-bones me and then tries to flip my car. When do I get a break? The worst part is now he's close enough to town that if I kill him, everyone will know. It's not a shame. Everyone will know. All right. I'm gonna save here. No, I'm not. I can't save while I'm driving. I'm gonna get off of the wheel. No, I'm just gonna run for it. I'm gonna do it. Get fucked, idiot! And the guy that was next- to, the guy that was right there is dead, too. Fuck him. Alright, I just wanted to make sure that he was dead. Rip Bozo. Don't ever fuck with me.
those two have no idea. <laughs> those two have no idea. Huh. I'm glad the repair box popped right through the rear window. That's nice. How's my engines doing? <laughs> How's my car doing after that? Not bad, actually. Chad, it's all worth it for the amount of pay I'm going to get from this job. Trust me. Uh, what, 60000 for this? Just to bring this all over here? Is, uh, a big fucking deal. Crime never pays? Well, yeah, but it also doesn't get me in trouble, so it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a neutral thing to do. It's not like those cops are going to tell on me. Tomato a drug dealer yet? No, but I know where to sell my drugs too, so it's not going to be long. It's not going to be long this time. I really do know where to sell my drugs to. I'm going to take this really slow because I don't want to fall into the water. Okay. Now we reverse. Now we want to reverse for a little bit. Just a little bit. And good. Stop the car, take out the key. We're here. Let's get these unloaded. Huge money. Huge money. Huge money. Easiest money I made my entire goddamn life. How's our gas doing? Oh, yeah. Only used 15 liters doing all that. The whole thing. All right, let's ride. Chet, if cocaine bricks are purchased at the drug dealer. Okay. For 130,000, how much does a cocaine brick get purchased for at the source? Just asking. Why is the car not starting? Why are you doing this? You got every- everything you need! The car doesn't have a battery, it never did. Maybe it's the song. Maybe he doesn't like this song. Go on. Go on. Maybe it finally realized it doesn't have a battery. <laughs> you think? It misses the wood. Oh no. Well, I mean, I don't know why the car won't move. Maybe I pressed uh, the clutch or some stupid shit that I never use. Clutch is X. Battery says it's super full. Huh. G-Force experience on. 
Whoa, 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 what the fuck is happening? Why is my character like zoomed? G-Force experience on. Why is my guy like in a, this is bizarre. My character's like camera is all weird now in the driver's seat. I'm gonna save. <laughs> I'm gonna save and reload. I'm gonna save, quit to menu, and reload. Do you need to be in insert any suggestion here? No, the answer is no. Uh, my examples are every single stream up until now where I have treated this car like absolute fucking garbage. Those are my sources. Yeah, I just had to reload it. All right, let's roll. Maybe the car got afraid that it was going to be used to sell drugs. Maybe that's what this is about. All right. The car doesn't want to be a part of this crime. But the thing is, I don't care. I'm thirsty. Okay, well that beer's fucking gone. I pulled a beer out of this thing, and it immediately dematerialized out of the bottom. Oh wait, no, it's no, this is a missing beer. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna swing on over back by the uh, gas station, cause I just want to uh, fill this up back to uh, a decent amount of fuel. I want to fill it back up to 125 or so. Then that guy remembers that I pissed all over him. I have a bottle. I thought I had another bottle of water. But I don't see it now. Wait, there it is. Ugh. 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 All right. Oh, the reach is not that far. Damn, I was hoping I wouldn't have to pull this thing all the way around. All right. Don't you fucking dare. You're the one who's gonna get owned here, asshole. I hate this guy. I absolutely loathe this guy. Holy shit. Dude, get off of my car. No way. Okay, I think he's off the car. Dude, I just about to fill it with gas, that's all. Alright. Alright, here we are, chat. Here we are. Perfect. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright. That's badass. That's how this guy knows I'm tough. Alright. He was with 900. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Loads of gas. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to swing by the uh, tenants of my house that I rent. And I'm going to uh, shake them down for money. That's the next step of my plan. I'm going to go shake those idiots down.
No piss fuel? I'm not pissing in the fucking fuel tank. Chat, just because I gave you peepees doesn't mean you have to be fascinated by piss at every single opportunity and constantly wonder what applications piss can have. Sometimes it's just piss. Sometimes it's just piss. It's gonna be a long drive back to town. This is not good country, man. That's not good country. There's not one good country station. Where's the good country station? We'll just go back to the hard rock, the metal. Yeah, this is, this is about best we're gonna get. Another beautiful day in hell. So what the hell's the game plan now? Do you, I just wish I knew how much a cocaine brick cost. I need, Chad, I need someone to activate Wikipedia mode or like Google mode. I need someone to confirm for me how much a, a cocaine brick costs in Oasis. I'm all need enough to flip that. You're so dumb. In the game, you fool! Ninety-five? Once I fucking... Well, that sounds like exactly as much as I... I'm gonna need to get it in bulk, though. Can I get this cocaine in, uh, wholesale? <laughs> Can I get the cocaine wholesale? Do I get like a discount if I'm a member? Does cocaine work like Costco? Only expired cocaine. I don't fucking care if it's expired. These people that I'm selling it to are addicts. <laughs> they, they, they don't care. All right, because they, they've been conditioned to need it. So the condition of the coke doesn't matter anymore. Unfortunately, it's how the world is out here, the Slavarian wasteland. They sell flour in one of the stores. Do you think I can cut the, uh... <laughs> how, how deep do you think I can get into this? Uh... You think I can cut the... <laughs> I can cut this cocaine into a... Into a flour mix to save money? <laughs> you don't think I can just make my own? Did you check all these? The meth bricks sell for 110,000. They only buy for 94,000. No, nah, because the one guy in the town here was buying it for 130 or like 40. I'll check again when I go by the town, but I swear he was buying it for more than that. That's meth. Well, then where do I get a meth brick? <laughs> I believe that was the established thing I wanted to begin with. Where do I get a meth brick? In meth town. Meth town ain't real! So is every drug in Oasis? Is that the confirmed location for every drug known to man? Because fine. I'll go to Oasis to buy drugs, crack cocaine, and meth. And maybe I'll even buy some Benadryl. I have allergies, you see.
and I'm gonna get some melatonin supplements while I'm there. Because I just wanna go a little crazy. Is that or we go to Antique Town? We got the gas for it this time, chat. No. No, no, no. We're not fucking doing that. That's foolish. That's foolish. Nah, we're not doing that again. We're not gonna do that. But I am gonna tear by to my house once I've seen what the deliveries are for right now at the station. The highest price is Kosmodrinsk, which buys for 300k. Are you fucking telling me if I get a meth brick from Oasis and then double back up the mountain to Kosmodrinsk? I can flip that to 300,000 Slavarian dollars. All we have to do is deliver a massive load of meth <laughs> to the people on the other side of the mountain. They need it. They need it, chat. Chat, they need it. They need it. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't me trying to make money. There's, there's a, there's some poor addict that needs this. They need it. I'm a hero. I'm a hero. We're, we're just like Balto. That's right. Exactly. There's some dying child on the other side of that mountain. Needs that fucking meth. Needs a whole brick of it. They need the brick of meth. They need it. Uh, this is a humanitarian mission. We're the Balto of meth. Exactly. Why did my car turn off? Because my fucking handbrake is on. That's why. It's a good thing the condition of this car is pristine. Quick pit stop. Nope. 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 Absolutely fucking not. None of them. So the thing is, how much does the meth brick cost? I have to do something. I have to make a delivery to make enough money to buy the brick. 110k. Okay, here's what we do. And buy some snacks. No, I should already have enough snacks. We should be good on snacks. I love that we're budgeting for meth. No, I don't want to deliver shit to Oasis. That's such a scam. Are there deliveries to Oasis? Like the like the big piles of boxes? If there's a delivery to Oasis, I would try delivering something to Oasis and then pick up meth on my way out. But the thing is, okay, the thing is, and this is important to remember, uh, we can't, we can't invest all of our money into meth and then die of starvation. All right. We can't. <laughs> we need to be careful and not buy every single, we can't spend every cent on meth. Just eat the meth. Yeah, my pockets are filled with food, but I had a giant fucking can of, like, sausage and it glitched into the ground. Food is temporary. Some of it will disappear. I can't trust that it's all going to be there. Besides, in order to have enough money to reliably purchase this load, I would have to actually... Okay. I would have to actually rest a night outside of my tenant's house where I where I rent my home. I'd have to spend a night outside their place. 
so that their rent is due so I can get it. Hang on, I want to check the map. Give me a sec. Just a quick map check. We're at Belarsk. There's no way I'm doing a delivery to Lipova or Magyarfalu. Those are fucking insane. I won't do them. Is there any chance that Jazzx can have a delivery to Oasis? Is that possible? I don't think so. You know what? We're gonna go with the plan where I simply get, uh... Get the rent from my fucking idiot tenants. From two days of, uh, them living at my house. We're gonna collect that rent. And then we're going to Oasis and we're buying meth, baby! Get excited! Won't my tenants be so excited to find out that I'm uh, visiting them daily so I can collect their, their rent so that I can buy meth so I can resell it for a profit over the mountains. They're gonna be thrilled. That idiot's on the wrong side of the road. I hate that guy. I fucking loathe that guy. Over those mountains is our destiny. I'm not really sure this car can climb the mountain. I'm a little worried about that. I am actually, like, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually deeply worried about that. I'm not too confident that this car can, uh, can clear it. But we have the, we have, like, backup tanks, I guess. And if we find out halfway up that we can't clear it, I mean, like, we can just go back down, you know? Like, we're out on the top of a mountain. Anything we climb up, we can easily reverse back down, because we'll be going downhill. It's just gonna take time. Well, uh, time's something I have, all right? I played SnowRunner. An old thing or two about stuff taking time. We're gonna sleep outside my tenant's house, which is my house. And wait for, wait for the day to roll over so I can get two days worth of rent from it. And we'll have enough for the meth. Then we'll have plenty of meth, Molly. You be coming up on it now. I don't even know who lives there. I don't know who lives there either. Honestly, I think most of this place is a ghost town. That's my uncle. Rents do! Rent stew, motherfucker! Hey, Bozo! Yeah, I'm talking to you! I'm talking to you. Your rent stew. Bang, bang, bang. I bang on the door. Bang, bang, bang. I go in through the garage to their house. Hey! First of all, this ain't yours. Your rent stew. All of you. 
These ain't legally your pans and pots. And you're gonna wanna plug the gas in. Or it won't turn on. See what I mean? You're gonna need to turn these on. There you go. Huge. We're gonna need to do that again. I'm gonna sleep outside the house. Hopefully it doesn't burn down. Ain't nothing like, uh, just hassling my tenants over and over again. Just ain't nothing like this. Where do you live, Lil? I'm, uh... Shut up. I'm asleep. It's a brand new day. That means rent, too, dipshit. And you're evicted. And now you're back in. Time. Come on, Jet. We gotta get ourselves to Oasis. Hang on, I actually should check the map before I go, just in case I don't know where it is I'm going. Pretty much can't fuck it up. Just go south. The fact that I said pretty much can't fuck it up guarantees I'm gonna fuck it up. I mean, I've been here before. That's right. Badass. I'll be back from my, the rest of my rent when I come back. That money's the thing that's gonna keep me alive once I get back from picking up my meth brick. It's actually not a joke that um, the money from rent from them is what's gonna keep me alive once I spend all of my money on meth. It's kind of poetic. Stop being poor. Dude, I'm not poor. Chat, if this fucking shit costs more than 11, like 114,000, we are fucked, by the way. Uh, so, so really cutting it close on the cost of this meth brick. Really cutting it close on the meth brick. Our livelihood is on the line. You are keeping the meth refrigerated, right? Huh? What the hell did you just say to me? What a stupid thing to say. Almost as stupid as this guy's gonna be if he tries to fucking take this turn while I'm turning. Fuck the idiot. You're supposed to freeze it. Jay, you guys should know a lot about- Oh! 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 Shortcut. 
Did I lose anything I care about? Probably not. Everything I care about is actually in the front of the car for once. I think I take this route to go to Oasis. I think. I think. Yep. Right? Yep. All right. All right. That's right. Hey, Chad, I mean, give me some credit on one thing. Car hasn't overheated at all this time. I've gotten better about shifting gears. Car has not started smoking today. I've been really careful. I got a good feeling about this. Should I stop by that? There's a fucking obelisk. I'm stopping at the obelisk. I am easily convinced to break my path for obelisks. There's one thing that can get me off the open road. It's a monolith in the distance. Everyone, look away! I am selling this. Stop, you're not old enough. Oh, I thought I could take these. These look like, those look like real, like wheels. What is this, Mafia 2? Great game. I wish. Shut up. I'm just fooling. Oops. Mafia 3 is garbage water? I think Mafia 3 is truly one of the main times like that a game has had a sequel that I've been genuinely so disappointed that I didn't even buy the product. Like, I looked at Mafia 3 and was like, oh, never happening. Like, that game was truly a disappointing pile of garbage for me. As someone who loved Mafia 2. I didn't play Mafia 1, but I loved 2. You're shitting yourself. I have 85 blad- I have 15% bladder left. What are you talking about? And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna piss it all into the coolant tank. I'm fine. Also, that has nothing to do with shitting. Fool. Now stay focused on what we're gonna tell the meth dealer when we get there. We need to buy a brick of meth. Stay focused. Can you end the game? Oops. I geared down instead of geared up. It just leaning my head out of the car like a dog. Coasting on the open road. Obelisk. Is this Oasis? You guys know me. I see a place next to the road. I run out of the car and I loot it. This is an Oasis. But I am going to steal whatever they have. <gasps> okay, that's... No, this is a lake. Hey, man. You sell meth? You sell meth, man? Can I drink this? <gasps> Duckies! There's actual real ducks. Well, hang on a second here, because, um... If there's real ducks, there's real, uh... 
they're in real fucking danger, I'll tell you that much. Because uh, I know for a fact there's hunting in this game. You can sell these creatures. So, um, unfortunately for these ducks. What the fuck is that? Ain't no fucking way there's a gator charging me. I'm saving my game. Ain't no fucking way that's a gator. That's not really a gator. Square up then, motherfucker! Oh! Oh, he's doing the spin move! I'm still alive. Okay. <laughs> we can't beat the gator. It rolled me. <laughs> Hunter has become the hunted. I just didn't have a good shot on him. Did I wait? Did my character wake up dead? Oh, fucking Christ. Wait, what? No. What just happened? Did my game just soft lock? No. What? That'd be a bug. If that happened, that's a, I might have to reload the game. I don't think that would persist if I loaded it again and saved while dead. Nah. Oh, we're good now. My dude had the red border on, which meant that he was technically dead. My knife's on the ground still. Fucking ducks. <laughs> Ow! Stop! <laughs> Chad, I think we lost the knife. I think we lost the knife. I think the knife's gone. Every time we load, we load dead uh, half the time. Okay, when we get in, we're gonna run for our fucking lives. <laughs> when we get in, we're gonna run for our fucking lives. Uh, I give up on the knife. Run, motherfucker! I can't tell if the gator's faster than me. But we lost the knife. The knife's gone. Gator's not faster than me. How long is he gonna chase me, though? This is a waste I still need to buy my meth. <laughs> You're so meth or not, man! Dude, please! <laughs> Dude, please! What's the point of this place? Get on the roof! Get on the roof! Yeah, what's good, you stupid fucking idiot? <laughs> oh my god, there's two of them. Oh no. Uh, chat, is this... <laughs> Let me just consult the map. Let me just pull out the, uh... The map. This ain't Oasis. We are the flag. See, so next to Oasis, there's a little flag. We are at the wrong place. We need to go farther down the road and then bang a left. And then we're at Oasis. Now here's the problem. Here's the, now here's the issue. Currently, my truck is off. Nah, this is Oasis. Motherfucker, where do I buy meth then if it's Oasis? You guys are like, it's Oasis. Well, if you were so dead set on Oasis being the place I buy meth, then where's the meth? <laughs> From the fucking outhouse? I think the gators lost interest in me. No, I'm going to assume it's not this fucking place. Because there's two places right next to each other. You guys are wrong. I might swing by and try to find my knife since those gators have lost their mind. I don't know why I keep checking toilets for loot. But it's what I'm about at this point, okay? I don't know what else to say. Like, the NPCs are the ones that would be selling that stuff. And the fact that they didn't sell it makes me think 
I'm in the wrong place. Also, the knife is gone. The knife's gone. The knife's absolutely gone. Sometimes I forget that only like three of you in chat have ever played this game, but somehow I get like 18 different people all yelling like what to do. Oh no. <laughs> and I really do need to remember that most of you are truly talking out of your ass. Uh... I have the wiki open right now. Then mother, then provide me with where I purchased the thing here. If you have it open. Can't be like, God, dude, this is the place. And then when I ask you where it is, you question mark. And you say Oasis. The NPC near the shack next to the car. The guy that won't talk to me? Or is there another NPC near the shack next to the car? There's no NPC here. There's a gator biting me again. But this guy can't talk. I can't talk to him. I'm telling you guys, it's the wrong building. Like, it's the wrong town. There's two places. There's two places right next to each other. I'm telling you, this is the wrong place. I'm telling you. People are saying inside the shack now. Guy will be in a building. Then we are at the wrong place because none of these places open. Then all these buildings are blocks. They are unenterable blocks. I will check them all once for you. I will check every building once for you. I will do this for you. But it's an oasis. There can be two oases nearby. Matter of fact, that's likely. There could be another lake right over that hill where the other town is. Don't you see? But let's try to go inside the house and get crack while a gator tries to kill me. What's the worst that could happen? Absolutely baffling, but whatever. This is the first house that's ever opened. Dude, this is like a thief. This is like a thief. No way. Dude, there's a gator in the house. Dude. Dude, you don't fucking understand. <laughs> I buy one brick of meth. Thanks. Where did that shit even go? Where's the thing I bought? <laughs> this gator is an absolute fucking menace. I have to buy a gun. Chat. That gator ate my fucking meth and then it ripped me in half. I need to buy a gun. Run it over. My guy's gonna fall over dead. Yep. I don't know why every time you load the game, the second time after you die, uh, you just wake up dead. Go, go, go. Go! Go! All right, so here's what I have to do. I have to run over here. I gotta climb on the roof, ditch the gator. Ditch the gator, buy the meth. Easy. <laughs> it's, it's not hard. Oh! 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 Lure him over here. Ow! He's actually on top of me already, dude. That gator's crazy. It's two of them. They're psychos. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Wait, this works. If I lure them outside of the town's borders... <laughs> dude, what the fuck are these things up to? This is psycho. 
Oh, 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 <laughs> no! No way they survived getting hit by a car. <laughs> no way. Get in the car. Get in the car! Get in the car! Oh! 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 They started spin, uh, they started doing a spin hack at the end to defend themselves from other hacking gators trying to kill me in the game. Uh. I fucking hate these guys. I need to get on the roof and actually save my game and then figure out how I'm gonna deal with this. God damn. Fuck you, man. Horrible creatures. There's like no real place to... I can't believe I lost my knife! I could have totally taken them down if I had my knife. Just so everyone's aware. Stop! This should be deterring them. Okay. This thing will never stop chasing me. It is... It is the ultimate demon. I don't know what to do. I really don't. Oh. <clears throat> save the game. Wait. Get on roof, then save the game. Don't be a fucking psycho. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Oh. Save the game here. I need... To think about this carefully because the gator can clip right through that fucking door. And then I'm dead. There's no way to really get away from this guy. Please. <gasps> Dude, I just want to buy my meth. Where is he? Oh, fucking Christ. Why won't this- I have an idea. I have a huge idea. I'm gonna get him stuck in the outhouse. That's what I do, I get him stuck in the outhouse. I corral him. Where is he? <gasps> El Diablo! El Diablo Asesino! Why won't you get away? <laughs> Why won't you get away from me? Dude! Fuck up! Eh. Oh. Oh. No way this guy follows me to the top of the fucking mountain. Ain't no way. Oh! <laughs> He fucked off. He's falling. Is he going to steal my car? No. Hey, I'll get to the top. I need binoculars. Where's my binoculars? Enhance. Do we have eyes on the... He is looking right at me. 
He is staring daggers into me. Dude, he sees me still. He's not losing a beat. What is... I just want to buy meth. Dude! I just want to buy meth! Dude! Should he be shouting that? I've yelled more embarrassing things uh, inside of my house that people also live in. Don't worry. Remember when I screamed fuck me like four times in a row while playing Spore? Yeah, I, I've said worse. What am I gonna do? Seems to be a portal over there. That duck is the fucking that that's the one that caught what it's just not fair. Well maybe it won't aggro on me if I go all the way around. Maybe he's actually lost sight of me. His camera's not following me. Maybe I can stealth around him and get to my car and hit him with it. You know what I mean? Chat, that might be the best bet we have. Give me this. Do get my binoculars. I, all right, I think we're gonna stealth around him. I'm gonna get in my car, I'm gonna floor it and hit him. Okay, where is he now? Where the fuck is he? He's right there. This is still better off than I was a couple minutes ago. We're gonna save. All right, he doesn't know. He doesn't currently know. He still thinks I'm on top of death, uh, death rock, as I've decided to call it because of just the amount of times I've died here. He has no idea that I'm gonna get in his fucking car. I'm gonna hit him with it. He doesn't know. He ain't moving. All right, this is it. Best new seat belts. Where's the second one? We'll worry about it after this one's fucking dead. He, he dodged it. Oh fuck, that was just chasing the car. He's just ch he, now he's chasing the car. He's he's chasing the car. He's chasing it. This guy is fucking actually insane. I need to get far enough ahead, and I'm gonna wheel the car around. Is immortal. I've given up. New plan. Tear into town. Grab map as fast as possible. Leave. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. <gasps> he lost interest. He's on the road. Now, where's the second gator? I don't care. Hey, I'd like to buy uh, one meth brick, please. Thanks. I'm putting this right into my goddamn inventory. That's in my backpack. Okay. Now we're gonna go back we're going back to the original town past my house where there are no gators. And we're gonna act like this was all a horrible dream. 
Chat, the knife is fucking gone. Shut up, man. I already checked for it. Remember when I checked for it? Remember when that happened five minutes ago? It's gone. It's gone. Besides, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but the knife didn't really help me uh, defend myself because um, it seems like what I need is a gun. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the most American thing ever, okay? I've bought a brick of meth. I'm going to go resell it now for a profit in town. And then I'm gonna look into getting a gun with the money that I made from selling meth. And then I'm gonna use that to shoot likely endangered animals that come near me. You should just be a meth runner. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's see if how this actually pays off, like financially on the way back. Cause like the trip back is gonna be longer because it's all uphill. I have to be careful too because there's cops on the road. I think if they see me, I will get in trouble. There has to be a reason they exist, so um, I need to be careful at those checkpoints to not be seen. I'm probably going to save when I reach the uh, crossroads up here. before I get any closer. But I'll be fine for a little while. There's no like, there's nothing on the roads here. So I'll be fine for a while. I can get to my house before I save, basically. And good news is with the meth in my backpack, I can't lose it to any kind of physics bullshit. Guys don't think the gate is after me still, right? Because we only saw the one stop. What if the second one got ahead of us? Oh, there's my turn. Y'all don't think that psycho is ahead of the road, right? He's waiting at your house. Well, I have like a bunch of people living there, so he'll have to get through them. And those are my loyal tenants, all right? They'd fight to the death to protect me. They love their landlord. They love their landlord. They love their landlord. Chat, show of hands, who here would die to defend their favorite landlord? Come on. Come on, guys, everyone, right? Put your hands up. Put them up, guys, come on. <laughs> You're gonna tell- you're gonna look me in the eyes, you're gonna tell me that my tenants don't love me? After everything I did for them? Now, yeah, I'm planning on hiking up the, uh, rent of their home despite the fact they have nowhere to go. Knowing for a fact that I'm the only house for rent on the entire wasteland. Yeah, I fucking know that. But it's a tough world out here. I don't have a place. I don't have one. This car is actually gonna fucking straight up roll down the hill. I should, I, yeah, I should probably start asking for tips. <laughs> Do you think they'd roll with that? Do you think they'd be cool with that? Do you think they'd, you think they'd be receptive of me asking for tips? Landlords are actually trying to do that now. That might be the most pathetic thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. <laughs> Please, bro.
This car cannot handle this road. Chad, if I'm gonna do meth runs, I should buy, I should like actually be looking into getting like a real car. You know what I mean? I don't need this truck. I need like a, I, I need that Jeep to the north. Chad, the question is, and this is, I guess, like kind of a mechanical question that I didn't test before. Is it possible for me to rip the engine out of this vehicle and put it in the Jeep? Because I will straight up become a meth runner. But I don't know if it's possible. Do, I don't think it'd fit. Oh, fitting doesn't matter. <laughs> don't worry about stuff like actual realistic, like, uh, you know, stuff like that. I can make my radiator float 12 yards above the uh, vehicle. I just need to know if it mechanically in the video game accepts that. Why not try it? Because in order to fucking try it, I have to drive two hours IRL time along a fucking Oceanside Road. Okay. To try it. And then I have to follow that same road all the way back. If it doesn't work. Alright, we gotta stop at the house. I wanna say hi to my tenants. And save. Before we get any closer to town. What the hell is that? I didn't say you could fucking grow weed on the property. That's coming out of your security deposit, Mark. Yeah, it's coming out of your security deposit. You can't grow weed on the property. Ah, oh, fuck. I'll be back. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck that guy. Save the game. Okay. So chat, meth brick purchased from, meth brick can be bought by the people on the other side of the mountain, right? I'm going to make the most out of this meth brick if I take it over the mountain. I gotta do, like, I gotta do the real thing and go all the way to Cosmodrinsk. Need Jeep. I fucking don't. But it's not a bad idea. I mean, the engine that I have in this car... Hang on. The engine I have in this car isn't bad. I don't think it would be bad if I swapped this engine out and put it in a Jeep that's way lighter. Does that make sense? I think that this engine would be fine. The truck is the problem. It's super heavy. If this engine is swapped on at the Oceanside place, then I... That car would be totally fine to climb the mountain. Would the game allow it? Hmm. I really should have checked if I could swap this stuff out. I really should have checked if I could swap this stuff out on the when I was at the fucking other car. Really should have. Is it even worth the time it takes? It's future proofing. Chat. It's future proofing. You can put any part on any car, it doesn't matter whatsoever. See, that's what the majority of people say, but then I have like fucking psychos that say the exact opposite so confidently that I'm just like, are they trolling?
Like, I, 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 it's deeply confusing. Any engine can go in any car. That's what I assume. A lot of people are confidently wrong online. <laughs> True. Maybe save to check and then reload if it doesn't work. I need to re- I'm pausing the game again to say this. I need to reiterate again. It's a two hour drive. It is a two hour drive. It is a two hour drive. There is no undo. It's two hours. Two hours. It's more like an, it's more like 40 minutes. If I go straight line and I don't get distracted and I go fast, which I confirmed I can do. Uh, it's not that hard to do that drive. It's more like 40 minutes. But the thing is, it's not a straight line. It's uh, miserable. There's no car I can test it on nearby is the problem. Or I would just do that. Well, look. Problem is, I can't really go... Hang on, I need to check how much gas I have in the car. We got plenty. We have plenty to do the trip. We could go to the Jeep. We have two more whole tanks of jerry cans full of extra gas in the car as well. We got oodles of gas. We're not going to run out of gas. Yeah, I just don't want to... I don't know if I want to fucking risk it. Cheat engine. Zoom, zoom. Chat. I don't understand why you guys keep on suggesting your stuff. Also knowing that if I hold the forward button for too long, it instantly overheats the engine. Maybe I just sell in Belarsk. Maybe I just cut my losses and sell in Belarsk. I'll still be making a profit. Try the mountain. If I try the mountain and it's bad on the other side and I go down that shit, dude. I don't think I can take risks like that with how food, like with like the insane conflictions in like what people in chat have said this entire time. I think I have to trust my gut. I don't think I trust you guys. I think like flat out across the board, I don't trust you. So, um, I think I'm, I think I'm just going to trust my gut on everything instead and take my losses myself instead of uh, listening to you. Isn't there a bus system? All right, that's the first big brain thing anyone said all night. That is true. There's a bus system. Problem is that the bus drops me off next to the cops. I'm going to get arrested. So I can't do that. But that is smart. I've got enough resources. Well, mine is food. I kind of need to buy food. If I was going to go do the Jeep thing and try that, I'd need food. I also don't know if the Jeep is diesel. I, will, I don't see why the Jeep would be diesel. But I also don't have a way to defend myself from the rats. <laughs> you know, that is a problem. I don't have a knife anymore. Hang on. I'm going to go even one step farther, chat. I'm going to open up the wiki for this game myself. If there is one, I'm opening it myself. I want gun. Firearms license. Is there a wiki firearms license? The wiki has nothing on it. It is a fucking straight up abandoned wasteland, much like the game. The interactive map has about two interactions on it. It's useless. Okay. Uh, people have been like, I'm pulling up the wiki. <laughs> You've been lying. <laughs> you've been, you've been straight up lying. All right. I can't go into town because of the cops. I have to be careful. Can't let those guys get me.
Hunter gun guy is in Seversk. I'm willing to check that quick. Where that is. Seversk? Fuck, man! What? Damn it, I'd have to I'd have to go over the mountain. You'd have you could buy a bus to go there. True, but if I was gonna do that, I'd wanna drop off my meth first. It all dude, this meth is a lot of trouble. I don't know about this, Chet. I don't know about this, Chet. This meth is a lot of trouble. We'd make a lot of money if we took the bus, but we can't take the bus with meth. Dude, I just fucking wish I believed in myself enough to go get the Jeep and see if it would actually work. I don't have a knife, though. I have to get- I have to go. All right, we have- here, we, here are the things we have to do. Sell our meth here now. We're gonna sell the meth here. Getting rid of it. I have to. I need the money. We're gonna get rid of the brick now. I'm gonna cash it out. Because if I'm gonna take- if I'm gonna go to the other side... Okay, I'm gonna need money to actually buy a gun so I can defend myself. Okay. Because I'm not going back to Oasis. I'm not going back to Oasis. If there's gators that I can't defend myself from. There's a knife at the Jeep. Yeah, but that says Hitler on it, and I don't want that one because of it. That's a bad knife. Was it here that has the guy that buys the meth, or was it the next place over? It literally says Hitler on the knife. I don't want that knife. Yeah, I don't know why it says that. He was somewhere in the- There he is. Hey, man. Yeah, I got you, uh... I got you this. It's a brick of meth. Alright. Cool beans, cool beans. You have a good day now, man. Alright. Now that I'm not illegally breaking any laws, is there a bus I can take here to go over the mountain? Because I don't really... Oh, here we go. Lapova, Magyarflu, Kolovi. I'm going to save before I do anything else. Now, if I pull out my map, if I pull out my map here, Lapova, Magyarflu, Kolovi. Magyarflu might put us closer to Severs. But I don't know, though. Look, dude, we just saved. What's wrong with checking out public transit? It's like playing Morrowind and using the fucking Silt Striders, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just checking out how hard it is to get from one side of the map to the other using a bunch of interconnecting... Lines that don't make any fucking sense. Magyarfalu. Onwards to Nova Chakuta. And then Sterlikin. <laughs> so far, we're down a lot of money. And then Saversk? And here's where I buy my guns. Right? Can I sell guns here? <laughs> it's a grocery store. Chat, I, I don't know if you remember, I saved before I did this because this is me testing to see if I can even do it. I'm probably going to reload to do the most convenient route after. You can, uh, you can quiet down your constant outrage at the uh, smallest of things now. You can, you can calm that part of you. It's going to be okay. So 
So we're gonna be all right. And where the hell am I? This is supposed to be the place. How much does a gun license even cost? It's gotta be this guy. He lives in the middle of nowhere. He's like the junker. He's gotta be selling guns. Hunting equipment. Damn right, brother. We made it. Those gators sell for 60k. I need your finest gun so I can kill gators. I need the knife as well. I lost mine. I think then at this point... Jesus! Can I have your second finest gun? <laughs> Dude, I need enough money to buy more meth, right? Like, I'm, I'm so, like, I can, I'm not going to kill a gator with an air rifle, though. I, I don't think. That gator's way too powerful to be defeated by an air rifle. There's bears in the fucking game. How much do these ammos even cost? Dude. Dude, I ain't so sure it's gonna be worth it. But I did need a new knife. So that is at least something. We did need the knife. The guy doesn't even sell a shotgun despite there being buckshot on sale. Two crocodiles is 120k though. Chat, you haven't thought about something. Yet again, you've not you've not thought. So let me explain. I'm gonna pause the game. I took the bus here. They don't let me take gators on the bus, especially the dead bodies of two gators on the bus. I'm gonna have to truck that over the mountain to get that money. That's a trucking job. The best I can do is drop my gators off at the tenants at my house that I rent out to those idiots. Okay, that's the only way we get out of here. Either way, I'm not going to reload because I don't care about like $2,000. I'm going to buy an old knife because I need it. I need a replacement. Mine's gone. And then I might buy... No, I need enough money to buy more meth. Chad, we need to fucking, we need to actually straight up just earn a ton of meth. I think we do one more, f f like, freighter delivery job, and then we buy a lot more meth. We need to, we need to be the premier meth guy. We also need to check how much that antique poster sells for. The one that's porn. The one that's basically complete, absolute nudity. And you see how much that's going to sell for. Because, um, it's tasteful. Yeah, it's super tasteful for sure, for sure. I, but I need to see how much it sells for. Because if that sells for a lot of money, I am going to go back to that fucking Jeep. And I'm going to kill those rats. And I'm going to grab those antiques. And then even if the Jeep doesn't work when I try to leave with it, we will have made a lot of money from all the antique gear. Because I'm, dude, I could totally clear that fucking trip out this time properly. Hang on. I need to, like, take care of my character's, like, food and water. Uh. Yeah, eat that nasty shit, dude. Eat that shit. You got, uh, hang on. One whole beer. Grip it. Rip that shit wide open. Down it. Ugh. We sell more of that here. Another six pack of water is probably just a good idea. Especially since I can actually put the entire six pack into my butt. Uh, dude, that's crazy that I can put a whole one of these into my inventory. Too bad there's no like, there's no six packs of like food products. Seems like. I just want to eat this. There we go. All right. 
Wait, actually, I kind of want to grab... Two more of these. Actually, I have them in my inventory. Uh, cause this vodka is useless. I don't even want that in my inventory. Uh, yeah, all these. Get them in there. We need more, like, actual food. I think food's gonna be the problem once we're out there this time. Okay. Take the bus. Where's the bus stop? It was over here, right? Yeah. Well, it's good that the bus exists. Like, that's epic. Now all I have to do is get back home. Uh, oh, Cosma, Comstatrinsk. Uh, well, chat, yeah, this is the thing. There's no way we can take, um, the bus at this point for drug runs. We can't do it. This proves that. There's no way we get away with it. Uh, okay. Back to Novo Charcuta. And then, uh, Magyarfalu. I think I fucked it up, but who cares? This is all like one thousand one thousand dollars. I really just don't care. Bolars. Okay. I need to sleep. I need to sleep in my car. It's bad. I can't believe he didn't sleep on the bus. I just don't trust the bus. My car better be here. For a second I thought it wasn't. Right. Who tampered with my gas can? Alright. Let me just pop open a bottle of water. Drink that shit, and then I'll sleep, and when I wake up, and I go down the street, my tenants will have completely paid for two more weeks, or days of rent. And that's cool. And that's cool. I wish I could raise rent. Eh. Alright, huge day today. Here's the plan. We are gonna double back. Wait, no, we're not. First thing I'm gonna do. I want to tear around the corner. Because I want to see how much the antiques sell for. I want to know how much that sells for, the poster in the back. Because if it sells for a lot, we're going north to that fucking place again. I don't care if it takes a little bit. We're going for it. First, I need to know if it's going to actually be worth our time. All right. You're watching- you're watching the stream at work? Okay, you should look away. Uh, you should make- you should turn your monitor off for a second, because it's about to get a little... Uh, well, let's just say I don't want to have anyone- I don't want you to see the uh, front of this, um, poster. It's a little bit, uh, a little nasty. How much money was that worth? Chet, I didn't even check how much I had before. 20k. That's not bad. That's really not bad. I think we go do the quest, chat. I think this time we're gonna do it right. Like, we have a hundred liters in the car. We're gonna be back in time. When we get back, we'll be able to pick up all of the money as well from the, um... Tenants. It's gonna pay fucking insane. And if, and if we are able to get the jeep to work, then even better. I've got all the stuff I need to do it. 
We already know the path. I think we go for it. Can you bust there and drive back with the Jeep? I'm really glad there's a... Uh, there's a lot of you that I know for a fact just didn't watch the last session, and it's like, it's actually kind of fun, because you guys don't know. They, they don't, chat, they don't know, they don't know. <laughs> they don't know how bad it's gonna get. <laughs> they don't know. They're just, they're just saying things, but they don't know. They have no idea. It would be fail RP if a bus stop did exist there to take it. There's no way I hit that. Get out of the car. Oh wait, it fixed itself. No, it didn't. Don't you fucking dare. Sounds almost copyrighted. Dude, I'll say the same thing I said last session. Uh, when it comes to these driving games, I'm done uh, worrying about anything that could even be partially copyrighted uh, one way or another because um, the music is part of the game, and I would say an incredibly important part of it. And I'm uh, not going to take that out of the game for the stream. I'd rather them just take me down on YouTube, which they always do, even when there isn't something copyrighted. So uh, I'm not going to worry about it. No matter what, at the end of every single video on YouTube, I get hit by, like, five copyright claims. And then, magically, they all go away within the next couple days. So, uh, I'm not gonna worry about it, you know? Stay focused, chat. We, we gotta do the truck run again. We're going for it. And when we get there, we're gonna load up the Jeep. And if we can't load up the Jeep, then so be it. But we got our knife. We got everything we need. I shiggy diggy doop. Thanks for the gifted subs. I don't know if I just passed the turn. I feel like this is a really easy to miss road. Oh yeah, because there wasn't one. I think I just turn and then I see it. I think this is like a magic road that truly presents itself after a certain amount of time. It should be here. Yep, there it is. Wild. <laughs> Wild. That's the second time it's presented itself to me. It's like it, when you seek it, it shows itself, but if you don't seek it, it'll never show itself. This is premium rerun stream now. We're here. We did it. But this time with way more resources at our disposal. The only thing that kills us now is plummeting ourselves into the waters. Do bottle bit? Bottle bit. Thought you'd never ask. <coughs> This car is actually not going forward. And now it's going backwards. <laughs> this car sucks. If, all right. Genuinely, if the Jeep does accept the engine in this car, and this Jeep also accepts the radiator and all the other parts of it, we are going to dump this truck. Like we're not gonna use it. We're not gonna do like big delivery missions for a while because this thing is shit. Right now, we'll leave it up there and take the take the Jeep. Now, I am going to stop here and collect all the stuff from this place because there are antiques here. Wait, I'll just stop here on the way back. Wait, no, 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 because there's Jeep parts. Yeah, that's what I need. 
There's like actual parts of the Jeep here. Did my car have a dent? That's true. It's supposed to look like that. <laughs> it's supposed to look different. Whatever, man. I don't care. I don't have I don't have the energy to care about that. I got chased by gators earlier. Uh here's what I'm gonna do. Uh anything that isn't necessary for the Jeep, I'm gonna leave on the road. And I'm gonna take it on the way back. Cause I'm not planning on bringing a heavy load if I'm not going to possibly have space for it. We're just gonna bring the Jeep parts. Despawn possible. I if that's how it plays out, that's how it plays out. But I can tell you 100% that's not possible. Uh, ever. It's not. That's just not how these games usually work. But if it even was, I would accept the loss of just not having that item anymore because the barrel's only worth like six thousand dollars. Um, we are after a larger amount of money than that right now. That is a door. There we go. There's a lot of stuff back here. It's like all of the parts of the Jeep are in this town. It's kind of epic, actually, when you really think about it. Second radio. We're just going to keep this in the back. We'll toss it on the Jeep. More likely for an NPC car to run it over. The one good thing, chat, about where we are right now is that um, no NPC cars navigate this road, thank God. Uh, this place is an abandoned part of the map. We don't have to worry, I don't think about any NPCs tearing by this. Robass, thanks for the fucking raid, man. I appreciate it. We're, uh, we're about to do the second attempt of going into the, uh, going to a, a horrible, horrible village at the northeastern part of the map in the trucking game. Or I will hopefully dump this old truck and replace it with a Jeep. If we survive. If we live. So what if the Jeep doesn't accept the truck engine? Then I made my money back on the trip by collecting all the antiques. Uh, and I bring all those antiques back. And uh, get a little bit more of a win by also collecting these uh, extra resources on the side of the road that I'm putting out there now. So no matter what, we're making either a bunch of money or we're getting a new vehicle. Uh, and that's cool either way, you know what I mean? Diesel, we are going to take this. No matter what. And then once we have the Jeep, the, en the poor engine in this car will be strong enough with the Jeep, because it'll be so much lighter, to carry our meth bricks that we buy from Oasis over the mountains so we can sell them to the people in need. Okay. In, what was the name of that town? What was it? What, what, which, which town are we, like, baltoing for? <laughs> We're kind of like Balto. We're, like, doing a Balto situation here. The people of Cosmodrinsk really need meth. So we're bringing, there's a sick, there's like a, there's a, there's a sick child that needs meth urgently in Kamsa drinks. So that's what we're doing. Uh, but I'm going to really want to load up before I bring that meth over. I'm just looking around for, I think there's one more door for this vehicle. I just want all the doors so I don't have to stop by here again. Is that it? In the in the shadows? No, there's nothing here. I think the last door might be in the shed where we find the jeep. Actually, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually just say that's guaranteed. Absolutely, what's happening? No matter what people say, that's conflicting with what I just said. Uh, I'm standing by. Uh, guaranteed, absolutely, 100%. The uh, door is there. Even if I see the door right now. Yeah, that thing's gone. There's a house over there. I know because we tumbled into it. I think I'm going to take the truck over there. And just really quickly... 
Grab whatever's in there. Alright. We're not gonna grab that stuff. When we come back this way, we're gonna put that stuff in the car. Just so people don't start question marking. Well, I have a plan. So I think there's a house here. That or it was actually next to the coal mine. If you're the drive type game guy, have you tried SnowRunner? I fucking love SnowRunner. I think SnowRunner is amazing. I was gonna do a hardcore run of it someday. Okay, the house might not be here. I might have fucked up. Uh, before I even drive another inch closer, I'm gonna stop the car and save the game because every bit of fuel matters. No, there, the house exists, dude. The house is real. Uh, what's a hardcore run entail? Uh, I'm pretty sure if your car, like everything costs money and money is finite now in SnowRunner when you do it on the hard difficulty. It's super not balanced and uh, seems to be absolute torture, which is why it sounds fun. Uh, even gas costs money. It's like evil. No, this is where I died, remember? I remember it like it was yesterday. The, co the house is gonna be right here. It's an optical illusion that we can't see it yet. It's... See what I say? What did I fucking say? There's gonna be rats in there. We'll kill them. I just need to get out of the car. Get my get my knife out. All right. Get in there. Yeah, I bought a new knife, Jet. Oh! 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 They don't really do damage, uh, so they're dead. I got them. Uh, next, we uh, put the knife back away, and we grab all these rats and we toss them in the car. Uh, that's the other thing. If uh, if we get the jeep, you won't bring the rats with us. If we don't get the jeep, we'll bring all these rats back and sell them one day. Or we'll cook them. I don't know how to cook them, but I feel like we... I, I mean, my tenants have a... Uh, <laughs> my house that I'm currently renting has a functional stove. I know. I tested it myself. Uh, and I can just evict them and use it if I need to. Still running, by the way. True! And that just goes to show how good the uh, oven is. Your country needs you. Uh. You. All these wheels. Is this one... This is one big wheel. Cool. Uh, we're going to toss all this in the vehicle. I'm not sure how much of it is actually going to make it back with us if the Jeep works. But, uh, I mean, I'll load it all up now. You specifically. That's right, chat. Not me. You. This shit is going to roll right out the back. No, it ain't. Relax. It's not that, it's not a bumpy road we're going to be taking. It's just a windy, miserable one. There's a difference. This is one of the chairs for the Jeep. So we're going to need this. That, this is the hood. Or the, yeah, this is the hood. Cool. I didn't even notice that when I was here last time. But then again, I think I was dying of thirst last time. Whoa. Helmet. That's going to be big money. Sell that. Oil. 
We love oil. Is that the last thing in here? It looks like that may be the last thing in here. Yep. Okay. Next up. Wait a minute. I just smashed the oil into the ground and it's gone forever. But you know what? I already have oil. I already have a whole tank of oil in the back. We're fine. That oil's gone. A safe. It wasn't that much. I think my oil tank has like five, like 5.0. That was only 0.3. All right, we're getting back on the road. Nothing should flop out. It's good to know that if we follow these electrical lines, it'll like, like the poles, it'll take us to stuff though. Right and back. Is this game a Breaking Bad reference? I don't think Breaking Bad invented meth. But it definitely, it definitely had a popular show about it. It did. I didn't watch it, so maybe. I had the whole ending and everything in between spoiled for me, though, over many years of not watching it and people not wanting to shut the fuck up about it for 10 seconds. So I basically watched it. <laughs> I basically saw the whole thing and know the entire plot back and forth. Can I tell you any of the characters' names? No. Can I tell you how every single one of them died? Yes. Every single one. I know all of their fates. We are, uh, I think I overshot the actual road <laughs> that we're supposed to be taking. But I know that in a minute, I'm gonna see that beautiful Oceanside Highway. We're at that like really annoying speed on the car where I don't really want to take it down to first gear because I'm immediately going to overheat the whole thing. Dude, please get over this. Would it move faster if you just pushed it? I don't want to fucking do that. Everything's going to be fine. Look, we made it. Hardest part's over. Now for the next hardest part. Yeah, I fucking lied. This wasn't the hardest part. <laughs> this... Did I- hang on, stop the fucking car. That's the road I've been going away from it perp- like, I've actually been perpendicular going away from the road this entire time. I'm glad I fucking checked. Hang on, there's actually something I want to do. No, I don't. <laughs> I was gonna go check that obelisk for loot, but I don't think I care. Right now. How's my kids? Oh, we're good. We're not gonna have any problem making it back. Let's ride. Look at that speed boost we got though. Relax, relax. Okay, we're back on the road. I actually see it now. Time for the really unfun part of this. It really wasn't that long of a trip though. I remember doing all of it last stream yesterday while totally blasted on meth in game. So it means, like, I mean, I did that in the entire duration of the time it took for the meth to get out of my character's body in-game. So, like, I mean, 
time getting dilate. That was like a two minute drive. That was real. That really was only two minutes. I just took so long the first time because I was scared of falling. So this time we're gonna really slam it. I'm gonna save before I do it though. It's fine. Really, there's nothing in the car in the back that would really affect our Jeep's functionality so far. So if anything fell out now, I just grab it on the way back. If the Jeep even ends up working. Here we go. We're getting real close to the mountainside, oceanside highway now. Everyone brace yourselves. It's about to get a little ridiculous. Did I just lose the road? No, there it is. Buckle up. Next part of this drive is about to get wacky. Cause we're going over there where my cursor is. Oh! Oh! Oh, the hood! I actually do want that. Stop the car. All the important stuff I have in my car is currently up front, so... Well, aside from the toolbox, but the toolbox isn't going anywhere. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. All right. Should I save now? I should save now because this is kind of like a head start. Uh, it'll get me some speed. I should save now. I brought fuel this time and I have another two tanks in the car that are full. If stuff is like bad, I have another 40 liters in the car ready to go. We are not running out of gas this time. That's not how we, that's not how it ends. It's gonna end from us falling into the water and dying. Cause I'm gonna go a lot faster this time. All right. The sun sucks, uh, hard to see. Good news is we're doing it during the day, which is good, we can see as far as, like, lighting. I wonder if we'll get that weird flickering again, you know? I remember last time I was right about this part, I used to think it- I, I, like, was really hopeful that it would be easy and not get ridiculous instantly, and then right about here is when the game got ridiculous. And I was like, this is bad, but I can still kind of manage it. And then by that next turn, it got absolutely fucking heinous. Uh... Okay. Buckle up, everyone. I'm gonna try to do this quickly. We're gonna burn right by the village and go straight to the antiques. I wanna stay in fourth gear for as long as I can. If anything bounces out of the car at this point, it's gone. I'm really not going to worry about it unless it lands on the road and I come back and get it later. Matter of fact, I think the hood just went away. We don't need the hood, though. If it's gone, it's gone. We can't account for everything. Your Game Boy fell out? Alright, uh, let's go and get that. I grab you and I throw you out. Best of luck. Can you see I'm focusing on driving really well right now? And I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I could go into third person and make this so much easier, but like... You guys gotta give me some credit. I'm pretty decent at it in first person. I'm not fucking up too bad. I think like part of me truly believes doing like my summer car in this game and driving in third person ever is actually blasphemous. Like, it ain't right. It ain't right. The 
The only one of these trucking games that I can justify doing in third person is SnowRunner because I could never tell what the fuck my tires were stuck on if I was stuck in first person the whole time. Oh. Oh. Alright, stop here. This is like a good, like, pause, check if anything, check what fell out of the car, and then save spot. We didn't lose anything. Awesome. I think this is a good slow down for a second and save. Checkpoint. Do we have the fuel to get back this time? No, I decided to do an exactly perfect... I just reloaded an old save from yesterday where I was in this exact spot. We're doing it again. I'm just going to be more efficient this time. Because I'm a psycho. We're doing a rerun. My hand is itchy. I am swapping hands on the wheel. Okay. Everything's really smooth up until the exact point that I leave the dirt road and I hit like the edge where it like goes down for a second. If I just coast on every turn and I don't accelerate, it's not that bad. Hovering around four. Gear four is good. Dude. This is going smooth. Look at that turn, dude. People would slow down to zero and fucking absolutely take that turn like a like an old grandma. But me? Oh! 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 Did I lose anything? I'm gonna use this to check if I lose anything. I think that's fine. That was okay, okay, maybe we should have been driving that at grandma speed, but it's okay. No one panic. I'm gonna use the uh, third person just to check if I lose stuff if I jostle, because I don't want to have to, like, wonder. We still have another about five miles of uh, road to go before we get to our destination. I know it looks like it's close, but, like, it's not. It's really not, and it actually gets harder. It's gonna get a lot harder before it gets easier. I'm like full on as dialed in as I could be right now. All right. Okay. 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 My my guy needs to wash his fucking windshield, by the way. Holy shit. Hood's still there? That's cool. That's like the main thing I'm worried about is the hood. Okay, we have everything. I think it would take a pretty big jostle to throw anything out of the car right now. Tomato grandma gaming. I'm not a grandma. Oh, oh. I've been fucking going really fast this time. You should have seen me yesterday. You should have seen how I took these turns yesterday. Yesterday was actually me driving at fifth gear because it was capped speed. And I was just like, at, like straight up going about two miles an hour for this whole thing. I'm way better now. Hell, we're almost there. Just five more of these turns. Yep, this was the most soul-crushing part of the entire trip, was turning this turn and seeing I had yet more turns before I even got to the village. Like, genuinely soul-crushing. All right. And this was the second most soul crushing. All 
All right. Go! Go! Don't crash Teehee. Well, we made it past the first part. Which means once I get off of this, I'm gonna save again. We're not gonna stop at the town here. I have no reason to. I don't think they sell anything. They might sell like food, but I don't need food. So this is what people were saying was that there was a bus here, but I'm don't I'm not seeing any uh, papers, chat. Which means you can't get fast travel to here. Just so you guys know, so you'll stop telling me about it. Uh, one way stop maybe. That's some of the strongest cope I've ever heard of in my fucking life. <laughs> it's gotta be a way. It's gotta be. It's a sign with a bus on it, though. No. It's an early access game, things can be unfinished. And I'm gonna bank on there not actually being a bus there. That actually works. Now a sane person would save before they did this. But me? I'm a gamer. I'm a psycho gamer. This all goes downhill. I'm gonna start slowing the car down. <laughs> Not that psycho. I'm a, a medium psycho. There's the Jeep! We get there, we win the video game. Dude, no way. This car has some of the touchiest turns. D nothing fell out though. This car has the same issue that my summer car has, which is um, sometimes when you turn, if you haven't like set up your game properly, your character just turns so fucking hard. Cause you're using like arrow keys instead of like a console like gamepad controller. But I guess that's more of like an issue with any driving game on like a keyboard. It doesn't really detect. Does it, there's no nuance in the inputs. It's just full throttle as hard as you can in any direction. But we made it. Which means we need to get our knife out because we have to kill some rats again. Guys, you gotta give me at least one second before you attack me. Give me a sec. I got something in my eye. All right, now you fucked up. Dude! Oh, you're carrying me away. I took him down. Yeah, I reached down, I fucking slit his throat. What of it? Fuck off of me. Get the fuck off of me. Get off of me. Freaks. Okay. This is the, this is it, chat. This is the car, chat. Look at this bad boy. Now we fucking save. If everything goes according to plan, we can rip the engine out and put it in this thing. If that works, then we're taking this. I believe in order to do that, I need to get the toolbox. This is why we uh, saved. Because um, I just dropped the, cool, the toolbox into the ground and killed it. This is why we save the video game. <laughs> uh, 
This game needs to adopt the same, like it needs to fix people being able to put the items in the ground and drop them out of the map. It must. You guys died. You were dead. I don't even know where that door came from. I think I just duped rats. Dude, give me the give me the fucking knife. Give me the knife. Ah! This one can't even hit me. I duped rats, but we're okay. I also made a new car door. Okay, pick up the toolbox. Put on the ground. Take off hood. Pull out toolbox. Remove entire engine. Good. Pick up engine from ground. Gently. Put engine in other car. Oh, baby, you gotta be kidding me. The doubters are in absolute shambles. They may never recover. They may never recover from this Jeep being functional. Radiator in. Sure, it might not fit, but whatever. Hell, I'm gonna take the tires off of this car and put them on the Jeep. All of it's going on. We're gutting this thing. Next up. Seat number one. In. Huge. This is my favorite door and I'm putting it on the vehicle. And honestly, it's kind of like a the, the hood of this car was given to me by my great, 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 great grand uncle. And he always told me that I should keep the hood of this car upon all times, any time. Because it was, uh, it, we have a great curse upon our family and this car contains a, a ward, this hood, that protects us from the curse. Which is why I'm going to use it in my new Jeep. Uh, that's a lucky, it's the only hood that keeps me from dying. Uh, we will die without it. Um... Can't take the mirrors. Those are glued down. I don't want to take... I'm actually realizing right now I don't want to do all this shit because, um... Well, um... If I do that, this car is going to be as heavy as the fucking truck again. And all of it will be for nothing. Everything I did. So... Well, either way, what I am going to do is, um rip everything off of this vehicle, mainly so that looters have an easier time helping themselves to my treasure. Because I think that's really fun. And, like, I like to be a good sport. You know what I mean? Plus, I need a, I need a fucking uh, seat that I can sleep in. It's really important that I have a seat I can sleep in in the car. Hang on, could I just put that on the passenger side and then I could have an actual trunk? No, 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 no. Give it here. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up! This, uh, seat's being a little rascal. I don't- it's, I mean, it's not the tool, fundamentally, because you've been seeing me picking up and putting stuff down with the tool in my hand, but I'll put it away. Nah, the problem is it thinks I want to sleep in it. Get the fu- there we go, I got it. 
Oh, hell yeah! Now, this is exactly what I needed. One big seat that I can sleep in. It's like, dude, this is great. It's perfect. We don't need any other seats then. That's the only one we need. Everything else is uh, trunk space. I think that's pretty decent. That's a good plan. You know what we really need, though, while we're working this hard? An ice cold beer. Yep. On a day like today. Yep. One more of those. This will do me some good. Yeah, I could, uh... Yeah, I could go for one more. And why the hell shouldn't I? Why is my guy peeing? I didn't put the input in. I think my guy's bladder got too full, so he pissed himself. Well. Ugh. What can I say? Damn, he's still pissing. Save some of that for the fucking radiator, my man. Save some of that for the radiator. What if we need that for coolant later, bozo? Then what? Then where will we be? Okay, so here's the situation. I'm gonna see what's in the, uh, in this spot. If there's any car parts. Yeah, we gotta get these. We're gonna need these doors. We have every door. Dude, my guy does not know how cars work is what I'm th I think I'm learning. Like, I don't think that's the right... Sp that's the rear left door. My dude's a fucking idiot. I mean, but it works. I mean, it looks per... It looks... This guy's car is unique. It brings an energy to it that really... I don't know how to describe, but it pisses me off. It pisses me off. And honestly... We're in like a Mad Max setting. I think it's good. Yup. Yes, man. <laughs> yes! This is exactly what we need. This is... This is the car. Now, what we are missing is a trunk door. We're missing the trunk. And I'm really not sure what we can do about that. We're missing the trunk. Oh, there we go. There it is. And ladies and gentlemen, and there it is. All right, we're going to use that. We're just going to lift up the suspensions on the wheels so it's not dangling off the ground like that. It'll be fine. This is going to work out. Ladies and ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to save my game. I'm so confident in what I'm doing. We're going to save the game, and there it is. All right, let's get out there. Franken Jeep. It's not. Dude, he smiles at danger, do you? Like, you guys are fucking straight up. Like, uh, you're not. You're barely even smirking at the danger. You're, you're grimacing. You're scared. You need to relax. You need to relax now. We're selling all this crap. That's all going to the antique store. Now, I don't think we're going to be getting a trunk door. So that really is the... <sighs> I, I always... I swore I wouldn't get back on my own supply. But this ain't my own supply. This is someone else's supply. This is... That right there is someone else's supply. Uh, hang on. I should eat some pork. Oh, yep. There we go. And then that lets me put that in my bag. I mean, I'll sell those to like... Well, I'll bring those by when I do my, when I do my like, uh, my drug run later. I'll bring them by. Maybe someone wants to buy like something small. Maybe I can use that for like samples. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We want... Whoa, 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 wee, whoa. Hey, hey, relax. Relax. Everyone relax. Yep, 
Is there anything else I need? I don't even know what the fuck this is. I have ha I have like five of these at this point. I don't know what the fuck they are. I'm gonna be honest. I know I I don't know how they work. I know I think there's some kind of like pump like jack or like tow bar or something like something for like moving the car around. But I have the power of a god and can shove my car like a hundred miles into the air with a single flick of my mouse. So I don't really know why I need it. Wait a minute. Okay, the car has. Okay, next we need to install the wheels. So, we have a bunch of normal wheels, but why would I not use the dual wheels? You know what I mean? Like, we want big boy wheels. Okay, relax. Calm down. Stop that. Oh, hell yeah. Big boy tires. The, my biggest regret is that I don't have another set of dual wheels. I only have one. That's like the biggest shame of all of this. I'm gonna have to settle for having front normal wheels. You know what I mean? Like that's a fucking shame. Oh yeah, this car is a fucking mess. This car is a goddamn mess. But holy shit, is it gonna get the job done? Holy heck. Where's my toolbox at? His car is an affront to God. Well, that can't be true because God's the one who told me it was here. I spoke to God. He's the one who gave me the address to his car. All right, now it's time to fuck this thing up. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. But tomato, it was fucked up already. Wrong. Shut the hell up. You don't know anything. Now I'm gonna show you. Now I'm gonna show you how crazy I can really get. Car part adjuster activate. I'm gonna want this wider. For starters. Up one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Then this side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Now we're gonna make the back wheels really wide. That's like one of the most important things, I think. One, wait. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Huge. God, just get that. Can't quite seem to. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now look at this bad boy. <laughs> it's a tractor. I know it. I know it. Now I want the engine to be sticking out of the hood obnoxiously. So it's as loud as possible when I drive by people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, I'm going to want the engine to be sticking out. So I can let it breathe. It actually needs to be a little higher. Hell yeah, brother. Vroom, vroom, brother. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, let that thing breathe, brother. The car opens in, huh? It open the we, the door makes it open in. That's good. Well, that's fine. How about this one? They all open in. Okay. Does every single one of them do that? No, that one opens out. Oh yeah, they all open in because I have them all on reverse. Well, that's deliberate, chat. That's a that's a chat. That's a uh. It's like, it's a, it's an observation on, like, you know, privacy and stuff. Because now the car locks from the outside, but not the inside. And the windows only open from the outside. It's like a, it's an observ, it's a message. It's art. 
It's art. And it says my car fucking sucks, is what the art says. Now let's get all these adjusters and stuff into the new car. It says my car is shit. Uh, diesel. There's a bunch of stuff that's just going to get left behind because I don't care about it. But, um, I think it's time to load up this car with all of the juices. <laughs> Wait, how am I supposed to see the... We got there. Let's fill this thing up with the juices. It's going in. We need all the rats. Ah, uh, no. What we need is all the meth. Which is exactly what we're doing after this. We need a repair box. Let me open up the, uh, trunk. Yep. Exactly how it should be. It works like a fucking mailbox. Like a post office mailbox. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good is the thing. Everyone knows it. Okay, so all this is stuff that's going to the antique store. This car even looks like it was made by a meth addict. Shut up. Toxic. Toxic and uncool. We don't have windows. I'm worried about stuff flying out of the car. Whatever. Let's fill this up with motor oil. That's going in. Drink up, little guy. You're gonna need it. You got a big day. You got a big day of proving my chat wrong. These are my favorite cigarettes. Love them. Well, I don't need like multiple seats because um, I'm plan. I, I no one's getting in this car with me. I wouldn't want them to get in this car with me. And on top of it, I think people are icky. So um, no one's getting in the car with me. Absolutely not. But we are gonna need a radio. This car does take radios, right? Rain's coming down. Is that the engine sticking into the, uh... That can't be good. This car doesn't take a radio? Say it ain't so. Well, let me let me get in here and take a look at this place from the inside. With the doors closed. You know, I'm starting to think that's uh I'm gonna have to move the engine a little. Cause um I, I'm realizing I can't see the uh ignition. I just kind of know it's there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna have to adjust that. There it is. Yeah. Okay, no, this has to get down there. I can't- I can't live like this. I can't. I mean, that's fine. It's not blocking anything, though. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That works. Top hat? Top hat's part of the experience. So we really don't get a thing for, uh... The radio? We really don't get one? I mean, I'll have to keep it in the back, then. 
Dude, there's a problem with the car where I can't get out of it. <laughs> Guys, I got this problem with the car where I'm stranded inside if I try to get out. There is no radio spot, which means uh, this radio sits right here and never moves. All right, it's time to uh, give this thing a test drive. Just a quick one. I'm not going to load up every single gas thing. I'm not going to actually like load everything up in the car yet. I want to see if it drives. I want to see how it controls. Save. I'm going to load this thing up with gasoline. Okay. Yep. 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 Uh-huh. Yep. Why are we downgrading? <laughs> We're not downgrading. We're about to upgrade because this thing's going to climb mountains way better than the last car. And then we're going to be able to run so much meth. Ignorant and foolish. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yo, what the fuck? Oh my god. Look at the fucking control and speed on this bad boy. Absolutely worth it. Hang on, I'm gonna pull over here. Cause there's stuff over here, I wanna grab this quick. I mean, I might as well, since I'm going so fast. What does differential lock on and off mean for me? I'm not a- I don't fucking remember it from SnowRunner. The only other game I've seen yet. Whoa! Better traction. Hell yeah. See, what's worrying for me now is I can't see my car's rotations. Uh, I can't see the, uh, can't see how fucking bad it is, how fucking absolutely overheated it is at any point in time. Well, it's a good thing that it works. Uh, let's load it back up. We'll load everything in the car and then we'll swing by that way to pick up what might have spawned. I think an antique thing can spawn there. Oh, for a second I thought it undid all my edits and I was going to scream so loud and people were going to like cry. The rats are back. They're taking me to the water to throw me in to kill me. My knife. Release me, scoundrels. <laughs> Horrible creatures. Die. Disgusting. Disgusting vermin. Morrowind gameplay. Not wrong. Ex Dude. I hate. I hate. I hate. I hate. I hate. It's fine, we only need 20 liters. I don't want to lose 20 liters of gas. I don't want to live like that. Where are the rats at? A 
Okay, got him. Jesus. I'm going to load up the car with gasoline. Ideally, this time, without it falling out of the map. And it's time to start prepping our departure. I'm going to load up both cans. And we're going to get the roof off of this thing. I don't want to see it. No, that's not going in. I'm pouring it all over the ground. Oh, the trunk wasn't closed. Shit, I look like a fool. Now, how do I get the... Dude. Twitch needs to fix their shit. Once again, every time I've gone down lately, it has been Twitch that's broken, not me. Like, I see chat scrolling by, nothing changes. And I just drop frames. Dude, this is really cool because I've got this, like, thing now. Where once the roof is on, all of these posters will fly out of this thing like little, like, like perfectly spaced. Look at this. Yeah. That's great. They'll just fly out like that. That's awesome. That's really good. Let's get them all in there. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Oh, hell yeah. This is perfect. <laughs> no way all this stuff gets out of here, dude. No way. Absolutely no way. I'm gonna eat one of these pork things because I don't really want this to fall out of my inventory. Or like fall out of the car. That's a little too small. All right, we're getting pretty much ready to leave, chat. Uh, I don't want the spooky pumpkin. This will just kind of be like, for the next people that come by here, they're going to have a bad time. Because they're going to fucking find the rat bodies. They're going to find the rat bodies. And they're just going to have a terrible day. It's like environmental storytelling. Yeah, it's really good. Other thing, I guess. We're going to fill this in the car as well. Dude, we're about to get so much fucking meth out of this. Do I not take this hood? Chat, part of me thinks I should take the, uh, Jeep hood that actually fucking, uh, doesn't blind me. When I drive my car. I hate our new car. But why? But fucking why? Raise your seat. That might be the smartest goddamn chat message I've heard all day. Holy crap. Wise. Of you to say something like that. Very wise. Now can I get an angle on it? No, I don't think we can adjust that one. Unfortunate. This fucking... Now the trunk is a rough... That's a rough sell. I'm not entirely sure about the trunk, guys. There we go. At least now I can see. Just adjust it. Fucking true again, dude. Just adjust it. That really is the solution to all of my problems today. Just adjust it. And you're right. I really should just adjust it. Who's stopping me? Possibly the game on this one. 
as I think the only thing I can adjust is the actual vehicle parts. I don't think the trunk and hood work. Yeah, no dice. Can't grab it. No dice on that one. Can't do it, man. Can't do any of those. That's fine. Do we have everything we need? I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't need that. I do not need that either. I think I have everything. Oh, my beer. My beer and my other repair kit. I do want those. That's my beer. Do I really? I don't think I want to go for the fucking antique over there. I think I'll be all right with what I have. It feels like we've already earned enough. I want to get the hell out of here. I want to go home. I've had enough of this place. Take the tire. You might need a spare. I ain't going to need a spare. What are you so scared of? <laughs> what? Well, you, you don't. Uh, you don't think I'm going to need a spare, really, do you? No, man. Come on. Come on, man. Yeah, the only thing I'd want to rip out of this car is the dash, but I don't think I can. But it would be epic to go out there and just do it so I can, uh... Well, first, let me put my... Lid on. Lid on. Okay. All right, chat. <laughs> it's a little bit, uh... Some of it's a little crusty. But you know what? We will make do with what we got. I'm going to go to the bathroom and then we ride. All right. I'm going to save. We go back to him, and then we ride. We're getting back to town, and then we're selling a shitload of meth. Derpy. Repair kit, car part adjuster, gasoline empty, beers, water. Is my toolbox down there? We're missing the toolbox. Help, I'm trapped in the car again. Help. Where the hell did I put the toolbox? There it is. Who could forget my toolbox? <laughs> All right. It's time. Everyone, welcome to the new vehicle of the Slavarian truck. It's gonna turn on. Matter of fact, it is on. That's bad.
He smiles in the face of danger. Do you? Okay, I actually do need to get that. Get the roof off. I feel like the roof is worthless. It doesn't help me. The posters are just so much, man. This will all be a lot easier once they're out of the picture. He's smiling. I'm smiling. What was going on with the car right there? Okay, the fucking hoods, the, the, the rear situation is a bad scene. I just ran over both of the antiques. Might have to find a different place for those. May have to find a better spot for those. It's a learning experience. I have an idea. I don't think we're gonna go for the other thing. We're gonna go with what we have. <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> Wasn't there an actual Jeep trunk? That was the fucking hood. We don't have the trunk. Go. And we don't fucking need it where we're going. Which is home. The trunk was on the ground, I think. Well, that sounds really vague and helpful, doesn't it? That's uh, it was just about the most helpful thing anyone could fucking tell me I was on the ground. I'm gonna stay in third person while we go home. Just specifically because I don't wanna lose my precious trophies. This is why we save games. <laughs> I right, there is why we save. <laughs> the roof, worthless. This is, I mean, it just looks like I'm really desperate. Is Where's the fucking back? Oh, there we go. Okay. This fucking shit is so cursed. A curse is falling upon our people. I can't even get out of the car. Oh. The fucking rats! God damn it, I hate that the rats keep duping. Why? Why do the rats just keep duping? Fuck off! They never stop duping. Look, if I can find the right trunk right now on the ground, like people are saying it is, I'll put it in the car. I will cave and swap trunks, but... I mean, it's a little rectangle of green in a sea of bullshit. Everything is gonna fall out of the back. I really do need it. use the flashlight I can actually see quite well on the ground the problem is it all kind of blends together oh there's a window here this is exactly what I'm talking about it just blends together 
All right, guys. Well, this is going to help. We have a window. Yes, I put it on the wrong side. What of it? Bumper. On the wrong side. Yeah, I'm not, uh... I'm not really confident we're gonna find the thing. Because it truly is like, it's kind of like pixel hunting, chat. It's a very difficult block to find. Tomato, please use the flashlight. I am reiterating again, I can see and the flashlight gets in your way in this game. Like it is in the middle of your screen, no matter what you do. It is easier for me to see right now, like this. Quite genuine. I know that it might be hard to see there, and I'm sorry, but uh, it will get in the way of me being able to see it if it is here, which I don't think it is. I think it's in a different spot. I mean, I know I saw it last game, but I don't know where. Hell, it might be in the town down the road, which is what I'm kind of thinking. Either way, I'm gonna save one more time because I put everything else in. It may be in the town. Because we didn't stop there this time, remember? Either way, I have a million dollars. Anything that falls out of this car is very replaceable, and this music got so loud. Let's ride. Headlight on. Vintage poster activated. I can't see the ignition because the posters are in the way. It's time. This time, this car goes really fast. I need to do this in third person or I'm gonna die. I'm worried about the toolbox falling out. Actually. Bye, truck son. Forever. You served me well. But I've got a new vehicle now, and it's epic. Hell yeah. Dude, this thing's fast. This thing gets up there fast and stays up there. Holy shit. I want to push it, but I don't really want to push it and lose all my crap. The wide wheels are actually a debuff, which I need to be careful of. Look at the speed though. The wide wheels are an absolute debuff, by the way, like genuinely. I should probably pull them back in, but that's kind of the fun part. It's light enough that staying in gear five is like viable the whole time. Which helps for me not worrying about overheating the car, despite the fact that I can't see the temp. Or the RPM. Alright, we're gonna stop in the town here, because it may have their correct trunk. And also, I kind of want to gloat. Nothing's flopped out. It's hard to see, but nothing has. Oh yeah. This is a nice vehicle. You think I could actually get over the mountain without using a fucking road? You think it's possible? Well, 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 look who it is! Huh. Huh. Dang it. Huh. Oh. 
I don't even know why I opened the door. Well, 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 what have we here? This nasty old shanty town. You guys got any fucking truck parts? Y'all got any of my old truck parts? Any of you want to buy meth? I'm selling. I sell moonshine here. This fucking guy is selling my trunk for $35,000. I'll buy it. I need a good one. Everything's gonna fall out of my car otherwise. This is kind of a this is kind of a necessary purchase. The alternative is I truly can't drive this thing in first person. Dude, gimme! Give gimme! Give gimme, give man! Gimme this! Do it! See what I mean? I can't reach there. Hey! Oops. Hell yeah. Now, do I possibly fix this? Maybe. Maybe. Flip doors? You need to be you need to quiet yourself a little. Uh let's not go overboard, alright? I think this works. I prefer this over that. Do you take trade-ins? Alright, we're back on the road. This time with nothing flopping out of the back, which means I can drive. Which means I can finally drive. Now I can finally drive at my full power. Fix the doors. If I fix the doors, I don't look like I'm driving the meth mobile anymore. It makes me look like I'm driving some idiot car. Now let's drive! It's time to show you the power of this here vehicle. Once and for all. We're gonna want the roof up. For this one. Cause we're going over the mountain, baby. We're not taking the old road. We're going right over. Oh! It can do it. Chat, this thing can climb. Holy shit. Well, currently it can't. We'll see how it goes against uh, mountain number two. See, with this, we can illegally transport meth to any people in need. We can really balto this shit. Those people, okay, across the mountains, haven't seen a brick of meth in years. The the children of that town have never tried meth. They don't even they don't even know that they need it to survive yet. But I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna show them all. As soon as I collect rent from my fucking deadbeat tenants. 
There's no way the car gets over this ledge. If it does, though, we I think we're over the entire mountain range. <laughs> this thing's cracked. Oh, it's fucking overheating. I'm ignoring this mechanic because I have repair kits. And instead, I'm going to turn on the diff lock. Hey, the engine turned off. Hold on to something! Oh! Oh, mother of God! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, we're gonna take the road. Like, we're gonna take the... <laughs> we're gonna take the road. Good to know that we can climb a pretty good amount, though. We hit like 120 or like 30 kilometers an hour going downhill. Why didn't you use the brakes? Uh, because it's fun to see how stuff happens in the game. And sometimes I just like to see how things are going to happen. Dude, these posters need to relax. Now that I have like a trunk, they can kind of... You especially need to be back there. All right, lady. Unacceptable conduct. Unacceptable. Okay, there's my temperature gauge. Yeah, listen, look at how that thing screams the second I shift gears. Now that means it's powerful. All right, let's go. Oil pressure kind of high. Quiet, you. I think I have the handbrake on right there. So it's pretty cool that it's going very fast now. Good God, this thing goes a little too fast, honestly. I just wish I could... The temperature goes up so fast. I need to be so careful with this car. I don't really... It's. I just wish I could see the RPMs. Or whatever it is. I don't know truck terminology. But I do need to check if the wipers work. <laughs> Yep, they work. Yep. Yep. Something fell out. Look at the traction on that. What is that? I don't care. Let's ride. Look at the traction on this. If only I could fucking see. Oh! Look at the traction on that, chat! And look at the recoverability on this car. I had to third person this because um, there's a fucking poster in the, uh, in the driver's seat that's pointing at me and saying, we want you. Uh, it wants me. The poster wants me. I'm in, I feel like I'm in danger, like I'm being threatened. This is going to be a rough trip back, specifically because this car is too strong. Does that make sense? The car is too strong. It's too powerful. I feel like I am in genuine danger driving on this road because it's so fast. It's going so fast. It's such a long goddamn road too. Look at the tr look at the distance on this thing. I should take some meth. Yeah, that would help me. I could focus up. Maybe we take a little bit of meth. Maybe we just snack on a little bit of that. 
A little bit of that good good. Oh! I think we just stay in fifth gear forever, dude. It seems like the car is able to recover from it very well. Uh, with how light it is. It seems like fifth gear basically just works as a slow acceleration without overheating the car. I think we just stay at this. Aside from start, aside from like going at zero miles per hour, it seems to get up there pretty quick. Look at the edge. Yeah, no, that's the deepest waters ever. You die. You go in there, you die, man. Good news is, I don't plan on going in there. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna deliver these antiques. We're gonna make a bunch of money. And then I'm gonna buy a bunch of meth. And balto this shit. Okay? Then we're gonna balto this shit. Hell yeah. This is going way faster. This- Oh! The car has too much traction, but it pulls back and recovers so fast, dude. It's- it, it's got a little bit of fucking swing to it, but you know what? It's got that grip. It grabs the dirt easily. See, the trick is I covered the wheels in glue. I just lathered the wheels in glue, you see. Easy, you're going too fast here. I think we're almost at the last turn already. Like, genuinely, we have traveled so far in, like, no time. You guys are some of the nastiest fuckers I've ever seen in my entire life. You know that? I just, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I say grip. And people are like, huh? <laughs> what did you fucking say? Let me post all my nasty emotes. You're sick. The sun's coming up on a beautiful- I forgot I can't see inside my own car. I forgot I can't use first person right now because there's a poster. Okay, this is the checkpoint. That means we're close. The end. Excellent pace while the sun rises on a beautiful day. This is when it gets a lot safer, which means I'm probably going to die doing this part. Do I have space to fit coal in my car to deliver? Yes, I do think I do. This car is... See, this is actually what I'm gonna do. I think once I get off of this place, uh, I'm going to floor the car and just see how fast it can go on a straightaway before it uh, overheats. Because I'm a little worried about that. I'm a little worried about the overheating. Good God, it's such a long trip back. I'm going 51 kilometers an hour doing this, dude. I think if I just ju jumped over that mountain, I'd be done. Nah, we'll keep going this way. Almost to the end of it, chat. Hold on to something. We're going to kick it up into overdrive. Dude, this thing pushes up to 70 like it's nothing. Look at that speed, man. This car's going crazy. And the double wheels on the back give it immense power. Immense traction. All right, we're going to kick up the speed now. Everyone hold on to something. We've made it past the water, which means it's time to figure out how fast this bad boy can really go. 80? 90? A 
90 is probably the safest I, I can go. Yeah, I think we hover around 90 to 80 and never go any higher, or else I think I'm going to fly off the road and immediately flip my car and lose all my stuff. But being able to get, get 90 at top gear is pretty good. That's pretty good. There's, I don't think we're going to have much of a problem climbing the uh, mountain like this. That said, I do have to go buy uh, a place to get gas before I go. And I have to fucking kill those gators somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I do wonder how this thing does off-road, but I don't want to do it while I'm still carrying all these antiques that could fly out of the car. I'll do it my car is a little bit lighter. This thing is going too fast. It is off the rails. Bro. Oh! 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 Nothing fell out. Easy. Contained. Already back to 40. The ceiling is awesome. Keeps it all in there. Never punished? Yeah, it's almost like this is a vehicle made for off-roading. These dirt roads are nothing. Now I should be seeing a wrecked old town coming up. And there's going to be some coal and barrels on the side of the road. We want to pick those up. We're going to sell them in town. Chat. Are the cops going to know I have three bags of normal meth on me when I go to town? Or am I cool to have three bags of not sellable meth on me? Because if not, I'm going to fucking grab that shit and eat it all right now. Like, just eat it. I'm gonna slam it. Why would they care? For a, a lot of reasons, actually. For, like, many reasons. We should be coming up on the coal now. This thing's going so fast. I need to actually start braking. Remember me? Ugh. This is how I get out of the car. Ugh. I have to jump out of the roof. Bag of coal. In. Barrel. Not sure if that one's going in or not. In. <laughs> I can fit. Okay, the barrel has to go. Sorry, dude. You're not gonna fit. There's not enough room. You, you, you pushed my best friend out of the car. I'm gonna have to kill you. Sorry, dude. I wonder if I can get this back in the right spot without everything flying out. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, this is definitely not going to fly out. That's right. Sorry, Barrel. Can't get you. I will try to test if cops steal meth from be meth baggies in my inventory ASAP. You've got to go fast, bro. I am tearing into town. Or you got to be doing this yesterday. I am truly flooring it towards town. Off-road style. Oh yeah. Am I eating the meth? 
We can almost see town. Am I eating the mess? <laughs> Am I? You gotta tell me, man! I'm going 100 kilometers an hour! You gotta tell me if I need to eat this shit! <sighs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, meth bag. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> Alright, it flew out of the back of the car! Shit! We pushed this thing to its absolute limits, and it only just now overheated. That is insane. I'm gonna actually drift at this speed all the way into town where I can get more coolant. That's wild. Someone order some antiques? God, I don't know why I, I gotta stop opening the door. I gotta stop opening that. What's the damage? Believe it or not, not bad. Oh yeah, I have some nasty fucking vintage posters for you, dude. Do you mind if I just sell them to you through the window? Don't give that to me, you can't. There's like a fucking, why is it, what is this fence? Here. Okay, 125. Next one. One forty-four. Next one. Whoa. One sixty-three. Someone else down the street sells the other stuff. Next is the helmet. One seventy-five. And then the, uh, really bad knife. 20 Okay. We are going to buy two bricks of meth. And then we're gonna take that over the mountain. I need to buy some coolant and I might still need to illegal drugs have been found I didn't have any what did it get stuck in the back of my car well I didn't save in the last little while so I'm gonna have to just accept those fines I don't really care that much we might be able to make the money back from the uh, rent that's been building up the last couple of days. Chatter was too slow. Well, chat, no, the problem was I was planning on taking the meth either way because I couldn't sell the individual bags. It's just it got stuck in the back of the car when I thought it flew out. It was like probably like slammed into the back or something. It's not a big deal. I don't really care. If it was like 150,000 in fine, it'd be a bigger deal. But it's like, it's not enough to make a difference. Plus, I think I can sell some more stuff. Yeah. How'd they know about one little baggie? I've been yelling about buying meth and selling it to uh, children on the other side of the mountain this entire time. So it really kind of adds up that they probably know a lot about the fact that I've been carrying a lot of drugs all the time. I yelled about buying two bags of meth the second I left the antique store. But they can't stop me. I haven't done any crimes yet aside from having that meth on me and they couldn't find me large enough to really punish me for it. So I got this coal here. How much does this sell for? I'm really hoping this is consumer goods because if it is or industrial goods, we'll be able to buy two bags anyways. Dude, what is this? Where do I sell this? 
Yo, who buys uh, coal? I know this is a coal mine. Do they buy coal? I don't know why the coal mines would buy coal. Steel mill. mill. Well, good news is... That's the way we go on after this. That's the way we go on after this. Everyone get in the car. Stop the car. I just want to buy... To be honest, Chad, I'm not sure I would have had enough to buy two things of uh, meth anyways, because I have to fill up on gas on the new car. So I'm not sure I would have had enough. So it's not a big deal. That said, I do want to buy a new thing of coolant. And another thing of... Yeah, I'm not sure I would have had enough. Might need another water pack as well. Yeah, I should buy one. These things are so cheap. How much rent is coming due? Should be three or four days. It should be a genuinely huge amount. We're about to really cash out on these bozos. I actually I lied to them and I told them I was never coming back. So they're gonna they're gonna have to real they're gonna be really stunned when they see me and I ask them for four weeks of rent. I gave them the deed to that house, but I didn't tell them that it was a fake deed, and that I had re like actually rose their rent. It, it's gonna cost them more this time when I get. I didn't tell them. I told them I was giving them the house as a gift. Fucking idiots. The car is not on. That's right. Uh, next thing I do is go to the uh, town by the river so I can fill up on gas. Or the ocean. I can go back this way, get some gas. We are going to load up. I think if I go much above 100 and uh, like 80 miles an hour or kilometers an hour, we're going to overheat. So I think I uh, cruise around 80. Why did you just get into the car like that? Tomato, what do you mean? My car is a, is a fickle creature. Okay. I get into it however I need to. I don't answer to you. I also can't explain why the speed here and the speed in the corner that you guys can barely see is different. There's a lot of things I don't understand and won't be answering. There will be no questions at this time. You're pathetic. You heard that. One is miles, one is kilometers. Uh, well, that doesn't make any sense because this says kilometers and the other one is higher. <laughs> Which, uh, I believe miles would be lower. We are going really fast. Holy shit, we're already at the town here. It fucked. That guy's gonna crash and die. I'm gonna crash and die. I'm not taking this turn any slower. I'm going for it. The car's gonna overheat any second now. I gotta cool it. Chill. It's gonna cool. It's gonna be okay. 
We can't break 100 or stuff gets bad really fast. It's okay. Just make it a little bit farther. It's going to be all right. Just pee on the engine block? Fucking true. Ugh! Stop peeing! Stop peeing! Stop peeing! Stop peeing! Stop peeing! Okay, that didn't work. I shouldn't have done it in this wind. <laughs> the wind was bad. All right. Here we are. This car is too fast sometimes. Okay. Stop. Good. Yeah, I'm not turning off the car when I fill it up with gas. I am filling this thing up because I'm not going to be able to get the two bags or the two bricks. I can get the one. And we're going to make a lot more money off it because we're going to be... Where are you going? Okay, now go. All right. Let's move. It sounds... Okay, so that's the e-brake on. The car sounds like it's screeching. But that's just because it's happy. I swear to God. I know it sounds like it's screaming. But that was because it was having a good time. Don't listen to it. Wait, why the hell would I take the road back? We are off, we are off-roading this fucking car. We know where we're going, Jed. We're going to do this way to Oasis. We don't take roads. We ride. Through the deserts themselves. And he was never seen again. It's a straight line to Oasis from here. Thought I saw a creature. Look, we've got a car that's good at off-roading. We should use it. You know? We got a car that's really good at this. I came back to Tomato filming a Ford commercial. We really upgraded. I don't think anyone could deny that we had a big upgrade. Switching cars. Uh, this, uh, this changes everything. I just have to remember to pick up my, uh, my rent from those tenants. Now, when you buy Ford, you buy something reliable. Something that can really get you there. We make these cars tough. Whoa. Where the hell's my house? I think that's the mountain range to Oasis. I think I overshot my place. Well, that's fine. You wouldn't. I don't think the rent would match up. Man, this car is just screaming.
I think I need to go around this way. I think I'm like on the wrong side of a mountain. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's overheating again. We're in big trouble. Everyone hold on to something. Badass. Do I wanna, dude? I how much is the meth again? It's 140, right, to buy a brick, or was it 110? It's 110. Fuck! I don't think there's gonna be enough rent. I don't think it's gonna there's gonna be enough for me to pick up at the place to make it worth. You know what I mean? Increase the rent. You're right, man. Man, you're right. I should go there, evict them, and tell them if they want to come back, it's going to be triple. Let's go do that. That's badass. And based. I'd like to see this bozo try to make me fucking turn off of this fucking lane. Hey, how about you go fuck yourself, idiot? Yeah, enjoy driving around in that thing, you you freaking nitwit. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. The car's built tough. For it tough. Where the hell's my house? Where the hell do I live? And why the hell would I take the road that way? It can't be too far. Yeah, they sell we they sell cheaper stuff as well. So I think I can buy like if I can't afford two bricks of meth. I could get like a brick of meth and maybe like some LSD and sell that as well. Like we can balto a bit of everything over the mountain to those children, okay? We don't have to fucking settle. We're only the best, okay? Only the best over that mountain. Only the best. Within reasonable prices. Don't listen to the screeching noise. God, where the fuck is my house? There it is. Wait, that's the... Boy, I was way off, dude. I was like, that was me going all the way back to the old... ...road that takes me back to, uh, what's it? Well, uh, a place I was just at. It's wild. That's freaking crazy, man. Well, whoever lived in my house just got fucking struck by lightning. You know, if I was a good landlord, I would wait to collect their rent until after that tragedy had, you know, blown over, but, um... You know what I mean? Need it now. Come on, let's roll. I need to eat, too. Built for tough. It lived, it's okay. If I killed it, I was gonna pick it up and sell it. Mods, if you let BubbleCheek69 fucking say that in the chat and you don't get them out of here, all right, instantly, Okay, for at least one second. I don't know what you're doing. 
<laughs> fine. What do you mean, fine? Everyone saw. They all saw. Rent time, motherfuckers. Thought you saw the last of me, huh? There's at least one landlord who's fucking said that when they collect rent from someone. Thought you saw the last of me, huh? And they thought it was funny. Ho 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 he ho 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 Not bad. That's not a bad amount of uh, money. See you guys in a couple weeks. I gotta go sell meth. I'm worried about the gators still. All right, we already know the way. I think. Schlapping that profit into your wallet. Schlapping so much meth. Mods, do you see what happens? Do you see, look at what you've done. Look at what you've done. Dude, I had diff lock on this whole time. Imagine how much faster this car could have been going. I don't take turns anymore. I go straight down them. Hold on to something. Oh, my car's actually fucking dented. Sucked. Oh, that was the first bad one we've taken. Oh, all of my stuff is strewn across the land. Oh, no. <laughs> Yikes. All right. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get that Ford sponsorship, guys. I think that dream's dead. Now this is gaming. I think I might need to repair some stuff. Hey, it's like really easy to see the stuff in my vehicle now. Yeah, I do this while I'm, uh, while the car's on. What of it? My flashlight, which I definitely don't need. Eat that. I'm gonna grab it anyways, but I don't need it. I mean, there's only three things I care about. Car part adjuster, repair box, toolkit, which is over there. Those are like the main things. Everything else is technically very replaceable and cheap. Let me grab this water first. And then we'll grab the repair kit and then uh, the toolkit and then we're leaving. That truck gets almost 20 schlaps to the gallon. You guys are enabling that freak who said that shit the first time to keep like to keep doing that. You know what I mean? You guys are sick. It ain't right. It ain't right. Did I learn my lesson? My coal! I just don't fucking care about it. <laughs> I'm not stopping to go back for it, I'm not. Yeah, we litter. Yeah. I found it like that. It's just gone back to how it was. Chad, it's okay. The car still works. Stop, dude. That I. What kind of what kind of day must someone that made that emote have been having to make it to begin with? You know what I mean? Like they couldn't have been like, 
people are going to use this when like they want to portray that they're like the temperature's really hot out like no you fucking know a mile away that people are going to use that to portray that they are down so fucking horrendously that they literally can't control themselves from embarrassing themselves in front of everyone like that is the premium down horrendous emote like that's the that is the that is the nasty person like seal that in the that in the like the horny imp <laughs> whoever just did the cursed emote fall by peepees get that person out of there candy whammies get him out of here get that guy out of there get this person out of there show them the door and then lock it behind them oh oh look what you did I crashed my car. Now it really does look like a like a vehicle that just gets used to transport crack. Oh, I can tell we're nearby. Oh, the car is getting worse as we get more dense. It gets worse. Here we are. Why am I sticking out of the roof? I don't know. All right. We need to buy their finest meth. Let's do this quickly. One meth brick. And God damn it, I can't buy the cocaine. Fuck. Well, I will buy this hash. <laughs> well, you know, if I can't get everything, I'll just buy that. Hang on, I need to drop some stuff off in the car. I have coolant. I want to put in the radiator. This shit is a fucking mess. It's absolutely leaking out of it, but that's the whole point. When he gets that good fent and your rent is on time. Eggplant, water, disgusting, nasty emo. I hate it. I hate you, dude. I hate you. I don't like you. Uh, I'm gonna drink this because it will quench my thirst, of course. And I want it out of my inventory. Roll. Ayo, chill, yells a chat member. You can't fucking say that to me. What did you just say? Chill? You said chill to me. Meanwhile, two messages above. That slap got me like, and then you post the nasty emo, and I need to chill, and I need to relax, and I'm the one that's got a problem. Let's ride. Wait, I should check how much gas I have. I hope I don't need to stop anywhere. Oh yeah, we're good. We're going over the fucking mountain. Chat, next stop, something, 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 Balto. Yeah, I gotta save, I'm gonna save. Take a chill pill. Streamer down bad and the slapping in chat is getting to him. 
I still am. I, I I still really just enjoy how many people misuse down bad and don't get how fucking nasty it is to just say like, yeah, I'm down bad. I'm having a really like bad day. Like stuff hasn't been going well for me. Yeah, dude. Like, uh, yeah, my, uh, <laughs> it's like, it, it is confusing. It is a confusing one. I know what I said. I know you, I know what you said. You nasty. You nasty goblin. I'm just saying. All right, let's roll. What the fuck? How am I a goblin? Look around you. Look at the company you keep. Anyways, let's get over that fucking mountain. It's time. Oh. I need to check the map. All right, we go past Jassix and we get to the thing. Let's go. I can do this while I'm drunk. What just exploded? Did I just drop a ton of stuff out of my inventory? Oh no, yeah, I did. What, what, what else was on, what was on three and four? I'm just gonna reload. Something was on three and four. I forgot to close the backpack. Water. Yeah, important I reset then. Really important. Still fucked up out of my mind. I only got $8,000 in Slavarian currency, which is like, I only really got like $8 to my name. I'm down bad, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, gamers? I'm down bad. I only got $8. Did I really get stuck on this fucking bush that's currently glitched into the car? Really? Boy, this fucking thing. Now go ahead, go into the ground and glitch into the ground and disappear forever. It's gonna reload one more time. It's just, it's one of those days, you know what I mean? It's one of those days. It's one of those days. Thanks for the 2000 bits. Bush schlapped. Just, it's, it's nothing. Like, what you're saying is nothing. Like, schlap isn't even a thing. Like, it's nothing. It's nothing. And I'm not letting all of you get to me about it. It's nothing. I need to get to the radio, man. Fuck off. I need to turn it on. It's time. Wow, I really can't find the ignition. Um, I can't find the ignition because I'm not in driving mode. This time, we're riding for wheel, for wheel. We know where we're going. Whoa. All right, I'm sober. Best place to put it is underneath my seat. God's drunkest driver. Dude, this is a huge deal. We're gonna deliver that crack <laughs> to those to those children over the mountain. So help me God. I just have to tear around those goddamn coppers that want to stop me. Yeah. 
Thank God I don't use roads. Check out this one. I'm about to straight line this right over that hill. Yeah, I'm done turning. Absolutely epic. Did just my radio get thrown out? I can tell because it's not in the car anymore. Yes, man! jump. Look at the control we have over this vehicle. I feel like it would have been faster just to use the road at this point. I just don't want to be too close to it because you know the second I lose I, I, I lose focus, the cops are going to pull me over and steal all my crack and meth and hash. Which I assume is hash browns. And not some nasty shit. Obviously. Is it, I think the safest bet's just to go around everything and just follow the mountainside until I see a road. Going this way. Like, I have no need to follow the paths laid out before me by, like, society, you know? That yeah, rabbit's lucky to be alive. fast on it. Little fast on it. Slow it down. Yeah, that's going to overheat it a tiny bit. But not by much. We're all right. It'll cool down. It'll cool it. That's what the coolant's for. This coolant sucks. Feeling better? All right. It's whenever we go downhill and we reach like a thousand miles per hour, where the car just like revs up too fast. It goes too fast. Okay, well that's where the cops are. We're gonna skip that. I don't want them to catch me. Dude, I mean, I've never looked more suspicious in my life. But whatever, they can't stop me from carrying this crack to be balloon needed. What if you push the push the clutch in when you're going downhill? There's a lot of things I could do. Anyways, let's look for the road. Let's do that first. That's a thing I should do. Whoa. Keep your eyes peeled, we should see a road coming up.
If that's the fucking ridge I'm supposed to be taking, that is insane. See, good news is the way down once we get to the top of the mountain is going to be so easy. Mountain road should be just about here. Imagine doing all this with the truck? Impossible. I truly can't even imagine it. It's not, it's not possible. This was the right decision. We see in the road any second. Oh. I think. If not, I'm gonna freestyle it. Oh, there it is. Oh, hell yeah. All right, we're here. This road is gonna take us all the way up the mountain, baby. Oh, hell yeah. And this car, easily handling it. Okay, looking at the size of the mountain though, this could take about a thousand fucking years. Good news is, we've packed for this. We are responsibly packed. I'm not worried. It's just gonna take a while. Don't forget Diflock is your friends. I'm not having any issues with traction. It's mainly just speed, which is why, like, as long as I'm following this road, I don't think I need Diflock. Which I am following the road. I think it's faster for me to just take the road unless stuff gets crazy. It was mainly a shifting issue. I don't want to lose any speed. Chat, I also need to just reiterate that I know how gears work, and you don't need to explain to me that at a lower gear, uh, I will go faster at points going up hill. I, I, I know how- I know what cars are. <laughs> Believe it or not. I do know. You have to focus more on, like, like, carefully crafting more and more disgusting chat messages that I have to read instead. Guys, if we took a wrong turn right now, we would freaking die. Dude, this feels like j this this looks just like that time my family and I went to Mount Washington when I was a kid. And you just expected to drive like this all the way up a fucking mountain. While someone like fucking tailgates you the whole way. Fake story. Fake story that I would go to a tourist attraction in New England. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean fake story? There is no part of that story that's crazy. It, I literally just basically said, just reminds you of the time I went to Disney World. No fucking way. No fucking way in a million years he did that. Bullshit. You think I'm an idiot? How the hell did I manage this? Get up there. Now look at the look at the traction on this Ford truck. I could have climbed this skipping the roads, dude. I easily could have. We're not taking any of the roads going back down. Is that agreed? Chat, no matter what. We are gonna fucking straight up throw ourselves down the mountain. Agreed. We ain't slowing. Full speed, right down. We're getting there. We're getting there. This is gonna take a while still though, dude. Holy shit. Going a little fast for the mountain road, dude. Going a little quick. Hope there's no urgent turns. Dude, I mean like, I've been trained by the ocean roads, dude. This is nothing. Compared to that, this is nothing. But imagine taking this on like a giant truck. No way. So when do I like get over it? You know what I mean? Like when's the point where I actually like pass over this mountain? Am I just gonna go around the peak now? 
Guess I'm just gonna go around it. Whoa! Epic. Dude, wicked. I can see the next curve. I wonder if I could just skip it. I don't know if I want to chance it and fucking die, though. It feels wiser just to stick to my guns. And follow the road. We are really high up, though. Oh, we're getting up there. Good God, it just goes forever. It goes forever and ever. But those... Those people in town, they need me. They need my crack. And, and fucking meth. And hash, they need it. They've been begging for it. I thought Jet, I know joke, fucking had a heart attack because I thought that was a police checkpoint waiting to catch me on the mountain with my meth. I was like, that is two police officers stationed at the top knowing that this is a smuggling checkpoint. I'm saving. Can you fucking imagine? I, I literally could. I could, that's why I panicked. Okay. Go. I have to turn this fucking car off. I'm so dumb. Off. Okay. What the hell is this? Okay, it's not the police. I'm gonna pull up a little closer. It's just someone's trash van. Are these guys they just live here they're just two guys I I don't know what I, I don't know what to say they're just two guys having fun hanging out just two friends okay I'd piss on them if I had the pee to spare but I don't so unfortunately we'll have to settle for simply driving away from them without anything funny happening Fine. If we were in a different kind of car, though, we'd be fucking dead. We are getting up there now, chat. We gotta be about to reach the threshold. This car is about to crest this fucking mountain something fierce. Hopefully there's no cops. How, wh where are, but the question is, where are the cops in the town I'm going to? I don't know. I guess I'll save before I get there. I'm straight up drifting these corners at this point, man. I'm being a little too rambunctious.
We're getting there now. I don't see another path. I think we're going around the mountain now. This is a little extreme. But well, it's cool. It feels better than taking the ocean route, I'll tell you that right now. That ocean route sucked. It went forever. At least in this one, I can see my progress a lot easier. It really does keep going, though. Holy heck. I just want to get... I just need to drop this. I just need to get these drugs over there. You know what I mean? Like, nothing else matters. Almost halfway there. You don't understand. Once we get to the top, the trip's going to be a lot faster. Okay? That's all I can say. We have a car made for off-roading. I'm gonna use it for such. Oh! Okay, we are getting really high up now. Now it's like getting actually a, a little bit spooky. Now it's getting a little scary. Before, I thought it was kind of fun. Oh! <gasps> Deflock! Deflock! Time for us to show why this is for tough. Yeah, I think we're gonna skip this cycle. And this is why, and this is why the people trust Ford. Is this the last, is this like truly the last lap where there's, oh, I see it now. I think I genuinely decided to do this on the last cycle where there's no more roads coiling on this side, ruining everything for myself and I'm overheating the car. Let's let it cool. You're all right. It's okay. Cool off. Now wake back up. Yeah, we are sideways, what of it? That's just Ford. That's just Ford. I think we're going around the mountain now. I think this is truly it. Dude. I'm having a rough time on these last couple parts. You all right now? You ready to take the turn? Okay. Oh. 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 I'm trying to read a chat message. I'm trying to read chat. It's rough out here. It's really hard. If that's a police checkpoint, if honestly, if I run into a police checkpoint on this mountainside, I, I'll tear four. Who lives here? Loot their house. Okay, this one doesn't even open. No drinks. Just, just cigarettes. Well, I don't care about any of that. Let's keep going. I 
Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, you know, that's just the kind of control you get. Please save. Not till we make it to the other side. Not till we make it around the mountain. I'd sooner plummet us down the steepest cliff in this game than save. This is it. The big one. We're going around. We made it as high as the game takes us before we go around. Which means we should be reaching the coil soon, which is when we save. This is nothing compared to... I don't need any more. All right, I'm, I don't need any more. I'm full. Oh! Yo, you look thirsty, freak. Nice job. Nice job getting the move on without me, car. Let's roll. Yeah. Yeah. Take a look at that. Is that a is that a mountaintop shanty town? You think they want to buy meth? When we reach near there, I'm gonna save because I'm worried about cops. I am now reaching the point of being worried about cops. Okay, we're gonna save here. All right. Why did the trunk open? I think it fell out. Do I really even care about what's over there? Oh, it looks like I actually go buy it. Okay, then I can see. And then it's time to throw ourselves down the mountain. Oh yeah, it's about to get epic. Okay, now you guys get to see when I actually get epic. It's a good thing I saved. That was smart of me. Hey, I mean, that was fucking smart of me. Saved exactly when I needed to. All right, you guys ready? I'm about to get crazy. Check this one out. Those cops ain't even going to see this one coming. Where is my radio? Chat? Oh, there it is. Can't quite seem to, can't quite seem to actually grab the damn thing. This is like the worst angle ever. 
I got it, I think. And really, from no angle, can I actually... That is wild. Okay. I need my tunes. Because we're about to throw ourselves off the fucking mountain. No matter what happens, I'm glad you all volunteered to come with me on the suicide drug running mission to deliver these drugs to those kids in need. It really does mean a lot. We need to get all the way down the most dangerous part of this mountain, right down to Komsodrinsk. Most of us are probably gonna die. And that's just the coolest shit ever. Let's do this. Everyone buckle up and hold on to something. I think I pressed the fucking button that makes my character toss a bunch of shit out of his inventory again because the goddamn backpack was open. Hang on, we're gonna do a redo. Because the fucking backpack was open again, so I can't shift. I'm all tied down. Disgusting face. You are- you guys are fucking absolutely insufferable today. It's one of the worst times. The fucking- ah! Again? Oh my god. Dude. Bro. You are gonna sit right here, just like that. Save the game. I can't do while I'm driving. We don't need to save anymore. From here on out, the game's permadeath. Until we get down off the mountain. And then it kind of pivots back to not permadeath. That's right. can't go into town but that's fine next part of this journey is gonna be a little bit more dangerous here looks good it should be a clean descent cut the ignition now hold clutch everyone hold on or something We're alive! Get the car back on! Badass as hell. And that's how you skip the cops. We are fucking dead. We're gonna make all of our money back. Anything that flies out is gone. We don't need it. All that matters is getting these drugs to Komsodrinsk. Oh! 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 You guys alive? Is everyone Okay. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. Don't go. It's going to stop there and roll back to me. It's not going to crest the hill. Oh, hell yeah. Oh yeah, what did I fucking say? What, and what did I say? And what did I say? It's gonna come back. 
I don't want to get run over. <laughs> I'll just keep my hands out like this. Stop. I demand respect. I'm in. I am the captain. Okay? I am the captain. The car is a little mangled. We lost the music. But what we gained was a lot of time. And, the, and a lot of respect. Now, Komsadrinsk is gonna be up there, past the salt flats. We're gonna skip some of the bullshit and get right there, no problem. That must be Komsadrinsk. A child absolutely deprived of recreational drugs is hacking and coughing. They look out the window and they see this shit tearing down the mountainside. And they know their meth brick is on the way. That's him! That's my hero! Yeah, I know it. Nothing stops the party. Not even the engine exploding. I turn it off for a minute while we just let the clutch drift us in. We gotta roll in quiet, chat. You guys know the rules. The cops are gonna be on us like glue the second we get in there. So we're gonna cut the engines, we're gonna roll in dark. Now I know you guys all know the cops are gonna be waiting for us. Ah, oh, fuck, I needed those. Oh, we lost the binoculars too. Tomsy Drinsk, absolutely deprived of any kind of recreational drug. I'm gonna really fuck them up. I'm gonna bring a ridiculous amount of drugs into this city. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin this place. Now, uh, now where the hell are the cops? They gotta be in this part of town, the shacks. Well, not the cops, but the people that want to buy my drugs. We want to look for just the nastiest people. Alright, where are the real freaks? Dude. Chet, where are these people? I don't want to get onto the main road because I know that's where the I know that's where they're gonna get me. Someone's gotta know. Where's the drop? Yeah, this doesn't look suspicious at all. <laughs> I don't, dude, I'm gonna get busted. <coughs> See what I say? Minus 29, minus 290,000 drugs. Okay, so that part of town is definitely where the cops are, so they gotta be on the other side.
Let's try the factory. Try over here. Now this is the re now this is the part of town where a working man really needs something to uh to get them through the day. That's where I come in. Does anyone want to buy some meth? We also have hash browns. Does anyone want any? Anyone? It looks like that's a more dense part of town. That's got to be it. We've hash browns. We got meth. <laughs> we got everything someone could want. I assume. Got any cornbread? No. Unfortunately, no. Like I said... Hash browns and meth. Okay, fuck you. I'm just gonna figure out where this guy is and then I'm gonna go deliver it properly next time. Where the fuck is this guy? It's not like I have a waypoint, dude, but this place is crawling with cops. It's gotta be in like one of the fenced in corners or some shit. Can't believe I can't believe I was told a thousand times that there was people here, but no one actually told me where. Because I guess they didn't assume I'd get there, if that makes sense. The meth brick guy is on the left side of a store. Well, that's just vague enough to be. Almost the most evil thing someone could tell me. First guy is by a general store. Well, that's a pub. I'd buy meth in a pub. Good for you, man. What if it is truly the average consumer? Well, those are the cops, so it's absolutely not there. Dude, this is fucking- One of them dwells in the slums behind hotel and delivery service, the other right behind the steel plant near the solid buildings. Dude, these are some of the most insane directions I've ever seen in my life. But that's the grocery store. So apparently there should be a meth monger dwelling near here. Is he in these suspicious bushes? Dude. I just, I just want to, I just want to sell my meth. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Go left. And then another person says, go right. I'm going to ask these people for directions. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do any of you want to buy meth? Go down bad. Time that person out. Oh. 
300,000. That's him. That's him. John Meth. Holy shit. We're really going to deliver this meth. It was a long time coming. But we're really going to get this meth delivered. I just have to be careful because this place is crawling with police. It looks good. Fortunately, this road has 24 hour parking. I checked. I just thought I'd swing by and let you guys know that um, as of today, this is a meth town. So get on out of here if you don't like meth. Okay? Because I'm selling it here. This shit's going to last like two years. I'm going to fuck up this whole place. Fuck all of you. Three hundred and eight thousand Slavarian dollars. Save. Yeah. Now, where the hell's the hash guy? <laughs> Next, there was another guy in the shithole area where there's a house with a fence. Well, let's see if we can see a shithole area from here. Oh, I see it. Matter of fact, I'm seeing shithole areas everywhere, and I'm also seeing fences. Go left. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was worried you'd say. Chat, it's been six hours. We made it. We made the delivery. We made the sale. I think that's good enough for now. I'll find the hash guy if I end up playing again. I'll find. But yeah. Good shit. Hey, we'll have to spend most of our money uh, recouping all the losses we took from tumbling down the entire mountainside. But it was a good time. It was a good time. It truly was. Thanks for coming on by. Thanks, Rob, as for the raid as well. I appreciate it. Sorry you're so down bad, Tomato. I'm sorry you're all such fucking freaks. I really am. I really am sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're all... You're a fucking mess. You're a mess. <laughs> You're a mess, man. Alright, I'll be back tomorrow at the usual time. So thanks for coming on by. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for giving subs and donations and bits, as always. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, but it should be fun. So get excited. All right. See you then. Goodbye.